Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Battleground Games Live! Woo! Here we are in the loft at Battleground Games and Hobbies in Abington, Massachusetts. And uh, I just want to say hi and welcome. And I know Amanda and I have been doing a lot of painting this last week. Yeah. So we've gotten a bunch of followers who uh, have been watching us paint minis and stuff. Yeah. Which is awesome. And mm -hmm. we've been having a lot of fun cool. doing that. I've been doing like all the Star Wars uh, Legion stuff. And it's been, it's been an experience. I really... I've been trying to get a lot of stuff done, and it's been a challenge. But Excuse me. what we do every Friday night on this stream, which I guess is mostly a painting stream now. I guess. I mean, I've been I've been doing every other uh, Friday versus every other Saturday. Yeah. For a couple hours. Yeah. You did a bunch more this week, so but that's not typical. But yeah. This week it was. Yeah. Because Andy so, was trying to get the Legion stuff done in time for the Legion launch, which is which this Which was weekend. yesterday, yeah. yeah so. so what I'm trying to say is we are primarily a board game stream that also does some painting. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'll introduce myself. I'm Andrew. Hi, folks. And with us we have... Hi, everybody. I'm John. You can find me at the Dysfunnel DM Podcast at DysfunnelDMPodcast.com. We're also on iTunes. Cool. And with us we have... Amanda, hi. Um, I paint on the stream. I've been working on the Dark Crystal figures. And a few trucks from the uh, Wasteland Express game. Not many because I got sidetracked painting the Santorini figures for our friend who loaned us his copy of Santorini for the Which stream we a couple weeks stream. ago. Yeah. So um, I am now painting those figures. So I've got... Uh, I've got them all based out. I'm not doing the buildings, just the figures. The buildings look absolutely fine as is. Yeah. Hey, Travis. Travis. How's it going, Travis? Travis is How's in the going? chat this week <laughs> instead of with us. Yeah, normally Travis there would be a Travis here. Yeah. Um, other life things have taken our Travis away, but yeah. that's that's okay. Yeah. We'll miss you, Travis. I'm Hi. flipping ships for you in my heart. <laughs> oh, that was um, so we decided unilaterally, yeah, we, we put no poll up, that this week we're going to play Spirit Island. Yeah. Uh, this is John's copy of the game. Yes, it is. John has played some solo games to acclimate himself to the rules. Yeah. But Amanda and I have not had an opportunity to play it at all. I did uh, see a partial stream of yeah, Loading Ready uh, loading Run was run playing it, it, which was awesome. And it did look very cool, but... Um, I forget why I needed to, to turn it off, but I didn't get to watch the whole thing. They yeah. did not seem to be doing terribly well. Uh, it's a real challenge. From yeah. what I've heard, this game yes. is actually quite difficult. Uh, yep. Which, I mean, we're playing the beginner game, so once we actually get going, it's going to be... These are so spindly. We're not, we're not playing with all the complexity that you can add into the game, but John... Uh, I'm going to switch over to the overhead view. Here okay. we are. And, all right, I, I understand the basic concept. Yes. Is that settlers are invading our island. Mm -hmm. That's We've got these explorers here. They've built some large villages and some small huts. Yep. We are the spirits of the island, and it is our goal to work together. We're going to have to really cooperate to drive these people off the island. We don't yeah. want them here. Right, and we can do that by flat out destroying them mm -hmm. or by scaring them enough that they leave. Yes. Okay. They are going to build things as they go, right? Yes. So over here on the game board, we have this little stack of explore cards. If they manage to go through the whole explore deck, it's all we lose. lose. Yeah, We're that's gone. the end of it. If they manage to get all this blight out, because as they're settling the island, they're polluting it, right? Yes. They're, they're putting these awful blight tokens on the board. If they manage to get How all the blight they? off of here, we lose. Yes. Okay, what's the other lose? Oh, if we get driven off the island. We lose. We've so got... We have these markers representing yeah, where we markers. are. Um, you are going to... Uh, Amanda's going to be blue. Excuse me, yes. I am playing River Surges in Sunlight. Very awesome name. All of these are yeah. really awesome names. So this is a greater than games game. Yes. And obviously we've played Sentinels on the stream. That went 
uh, not that <laughs> wonderfully. That was a challenge. That was a week that Amanda missed. That, yeah, that, that was one the week uh, I, I came into got a hand real fast. Well, we were playing like a, a super level four. tough villain. We were playing a tough villain. Anyways, Greater Than Games has this fantastic narrative world building thing that they do with their games. I almost forgot to mention, in the rule book, there is lore. There do we do lore. story time with Amanda? Give me one second. Let me see. Grabby hands. <laughs> <laughs> lore I'm actually be. going to adjust the camera slightly so Amanda's more on camera. Steve. I have something hey. to show you. Yeah, Steve. Uh, Andy, is document uh, cam up? Yes, I oh. have document cam up. So Steve. Give me a sec. I'm I've been working on Santorini so for you. More in view. Um, and <clears throat> I've gonna... faced out the most of the figures, but one is done. So, I'm going to give you one of each, Andy, just so okay. you can see the color scheme that I picked. So here are the colors for the base figures. So these are the people who were previously sort of pale white. Yay. And they are now blonde with red togas. You can see that there. Um, nice. Actually, oh, it's more that. in focus down you here. You can't see anything? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I, if I, he doesn't have... See, that's why I asked you if document yeah. cam was up. Here we go. So, here we are. These are the fellows that were previously... Sort of beige. Yeah, pale white. No, they, they, now, they, those were beige. Oh, these are the beige ones. Yeah, that's that was part of the problem. Yeah. Right, so this is just a base coat. Different, right? Amanda's going to do a wash and stuff yeah, to make them a little bit better. But uh, this is... Yeah, this is a base. This yeah. is based out. This isn't... Um, there are no details. I just finished doing a first coat for the togas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the blonde folks with the red togas. Yep. Yeah. These are the blue folks. They've got the more golden bases. skin. Yep. And uh, they've got brown hair and blue togas. Yeah. Nice. And then these are the gray folks. They were like, they they had like white bases, white, white bases. or gray yeah. bases. And they've got uh, darker skin, really dark hair, and yellow togas. Yeah. So they should be really visually different in a couple of ways so that they should be easy to distinguish. Um, but the piece that I'm really excited about, which is done this and just one needs to be sealed, really cool. is the golden piece. Um, she's done marbling on the base. Yeah. So I, I dug way deep uh, back into my theater tech days and uh, did a faux marble finish on it. So it looks like it's a it's a statue on a base. It's a head on a like a bust on a, a platform. Yeah. So it's marbled. Uh, so that's like the, a gold the marble choice. as a an uh, inspiration. So that one's done. I just need to seal it. I need to varnish it. Um, so I would think these will be done next week because um, I got all the basing done today. So. Yeah. So yeah, I was hoping I would see you in, in the chat tonight and I would get to show you those and you'd get to see what I was doing. All right, cool. How they're looking. So yeah. thank Amanda you for letting really me pause to with show those, those off. Um, I'm going to, uh, I need to move the camera a little bit the, more for Amanda so that she can do story time with Amanda. The blocks um, for like down on there that they're standing on, I'm going to have like a, you know, dirt ground. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you are quite welcome. Um, so Steve, but then I'm going to have white stones because all the buildings are white. I hope, Steve, that you will stick around and watch a little bit because I know you have played more Spirit Island than any of the three of us. Like I said, John Probably has two, played two this. So yeah, two solo games. Two solos. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's let's look at some lore. Yeah, story time. Um, the island has existed far longer than humans have lived there, but despite the continued existence of first-hand witnesses, assembling a coherent history is virtually impossible. Even among the tr most trustworthy spirits, tales of the past are rife with contradictions, all maintained to be true. Did Voice of the Deepest Gorge sacrifice itself? 
or descend to some greater destiny, or mm. remain unchanged as an oracle of sorts. Mm. Greater than games is in our chat. Hi. Oh wow. <laughs> How's hey. it going? Wow. <laughs> That's you have so cool. This. Hey, That's welcome greater awesome. than games. Welcome greater than games. We were just saying how much we love the narrative. Yes. So, yeah. Um, I'm I'm super into into lore. Hi. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh. Ba, ba, ba. All three apparently estimations of time and ordering are similarly hazy. The spirits. The spirits of the island are many and diverse. Thronging wisps of breeze, strange half-seen shadows across the still water, the sunbeam which forms perfect patterns even through tangled dead wood. Most do not fight the invaders. The smaller spirits are too weak. The greatest ones too slow or so strong they destroy the island. Some, like Watcher Act Not, are restrained by their own nature, and mm. others can't be bothered. Not every grove or gully has a spirit, but there are certainly more spirits than Dahan. The Dahan. The Dahan were the first humans on Spirit Island. They immigrated centuries ago, in a time when ocean's hungry grasp prowled nearby waters less frequently. Their lore the spoke of spirits. Are. Mm -hmm. and they expected their new home would have some, but were greatly surprised by the spirit's numbers, vitality, and intensity of manifestation. Some mistook the greater spirits for gods. The Dahan's agriculture and animals brought blight to the land and conflict with the spirits, uh -oh, blight. triggering the first reckoning. The Dahan capitulated quickly, and an accord was reached. The spirits would transform crops and animals to be more compatible with the ecosystem. The Dahan would change their methods of farming and seek counsel from friendlier spirits. The two became neighbors, though unequal. The Dahan were reliant on and obligated to the spirits. The Second Reckoning Many generations later came the Second Reckoning, when the Dahan discovered their advisors and protectors had not been entirely candid with them, and the power balance between Dahan and spirits evened out. But that's another story. Suffice it to say that the Dahan no longer view the spirits as gods. And the invaders. The invaders found Spirit Island a decade ago. Every early coastal contact with the Dahan was fairly peaceful. The Dahan saw these new seafarers as analogs of their, their those who travel and offered them appropriate hospitality. The invaders saw a fertile, sparsely populated island and brought word home of a land ripe for the taking. The first colony ships arrived five years later, bringing both settlers and an onslaught of foreign diseases which tore through the Dahan. Spirit assistance helped many Dahan survive, but even so, as the game opens, they are just regaining their footing, mourning their dead and discovering that these scourges are not, were not the act of angry spirits. They are divided on what to do. Some see the invaders as a menace to drive away, while others still think of them as our new neighbors. Oh, they're like Mr. Rogers. Oh, or are fascinated with their lifestyle, tools, and beliefs. The larger spirits of the island live and act on much long, longer time scales than humans. The most common reaction to the invaders' arrival was, oh great, more humans, here we go again. Tempered with some optimism that spirit speakers of the Dahan could act as intermediaries to avoid another confrontation. But the invaders refused to listen and spread impossibly quickly, with more and more colony ships arriving each year. In the blink of an eye, there were nearly as many invaders as Dahan, methodically reshaping the land, destroying spirit and Dahan alike in their heedless, swarming expansion. You are the spirits. Can you save your island? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Amanda. Yay. Oh. All right, so going back to the overhead view here. Mm, lore. Yes. So, good. so, Amanda, you were introducing yourself. Yes, I, I am River Surges in Sunlight. I am the water spirit. 
Um, and I know John told me I don't do much in the way of fighting, but I move things around quite well. You Not so much that you, do, you don't do much with fighting. Around. You have power and offense, but you're very much like a controlling, like, I put them in one area. I'm a blue player. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You move everything That's around fair. just to be able to, like, That's cool. set up people. Sure. I am vital strength of the earth. I am a mighty stone warrior, and I think I just drop rocks on things. <laughs> rocks Actually, fall, everyone dies? Well, I'm a good defender. Yes. Like, I'm a good turtle. And I'm also a slow, lumbering, implacable force. Yes. What you lack in speed, you make up for with being able to, like, just straight up play big cards to Crush wreck things. everything. Yeah. Plus, you get a lot of energy from the Earth, which Great. is very helpful. So, Amanda, push things towards me, and then I'll mash them. Ah. That sounds good to me. Ah. But I am Lightning Swift Strike. I, like I am that. probably the fastest out of our group. Okay. And I deal the most damage. Uh -huh. The thing that I bring to the table, though, more than either of you is I also can produce fear. And fear is a very cool thing I love about yeah. the game. Uh, it lets you change your win condition, which is something that a lot of co-op games don't normally do. But essentially, if we scare them enough, we'll be able to win the game easily. Mm -hmm. Or, well, not exactly easily, because the game is very hard. It's a challenge. But yeah. it does make it so you can make last-minute comebacks, if you're good. Okay. But yeah. But uh, we're going to have to work together. Yes. And we're going to have to, like, really strive to overcome these invading hordes. Yes, pretty much. Um, so essentially what we're going to be doing is we'll take our first turn, Yep. get our resources, then play our cards. And we all go at once. It's yes. not a turn-based thing. Yes. Okay. Uh, then the, they will act. Sorry, you can't be here either. Yeah. You're good, yeah. strong hand. Yes. <laughs> uh, then they will act. They Can will try to... Nothing. Story game. That would be really cool. Oh. oh, the same publishers of the Dark Crystal game, they're doing um, Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes, we saw that already. Which is yeah, and we kickstarted their Highlander game, too. That's awesome. I'm a nerd. Yeah, River Horse games do a lot of licensed right. things. Yeah. Um, then, basically, they will do their turn trying to ravage the island if they have a ravage card, which they won't do on the first turn. Good. Thank God. Okay. But they will also explore the island and basically play these little dudes. They will build on their island. So if there's guys alone and he is building, he'll build another facility here. Mm -hmm. uh, these basically, I think, do not upgrade further, but they start by building more workers up into buildings, gotcha. up into bigger workers. Gotcha. Um, Has they, into hotels. Basically. Um, we win the game by either scaring everyone off the island, which yep. I think we say before, oh, awesome. or wiping the island out, which is very they cool. They say they'll have it at PAX. So. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Excellent. We'll see you at PAX. Yeah, oh we my will God. see you. The, the store here will have a booth there, so yeah, yeah. a bunch of the, us will probably come over and say hi. The largest booth in the tabletop area <laughs> is Battleground. Yeah, so yeah. We, we have you a will big see team. us. All three of us will be Two there. Two sides. Right? Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, we have a, a friend who worked one PAX, uh, my friend Spence worked one mm. packs for greater than games because he was oh, that's right because he was uh, doing all the sentinel stuff yeah. yeah yeah all right so yeah we'll come over and say hi all right so john we have several things yeah we have a handful of cards but first before oh, we do oh, 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 i'm sorry cards, go ahead we're going to be following through with basically the actions on our cards all right for spirit the turn order. actions so okay. spirit phase growth so i guess i should explain the spirit phase better yeah yeah, yeah. so um basically we start the game by picking our growth so you choose one of the three icons in the top corner Ooh, of the okay. game. So the first one, basically, I'm we all have different ones based on what our board is. So people can but basically, see my anything card. with this little symbol here with a plus sign, that gives you energy. Okay. Anything with a card plus sign, that means you get a card from your deck. Gotcha. And you're going to add it to your hand. Okay. Anything with the plain hand open means you get back the cards oh. from your discard pile to your hand. Okay. Replaying That's the cards. only way you can pretty much get cards back. What game was it that we played that had that where like you had to play an ability to get your cards back? That's a good question. Um, we played a game that did that. Uh, something Road. Uh, Spice Road? Spice Road. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Because you had to, that was like your action for yeah, that was, was to, to like get cards your cards back. back. Other examples we have here are we can place these discs off of our player boards yeah. onto areas within the range that we have. Okay. So within range of our uh, existing discs, within, or? from our existing discs, uh, discs uh, with at least um, the range that's indicated here. And I'm the slow one, so I add one. a presence. 
This adds two presences. Yes, to and one area. this adds area. one presence. Yeah. Your weakness is you can't really spread that fast. Yeah. We can, and she's really good because she can spread sanctuaries really quickly. Sanctuaries means like two areas of the board at the same time. So if you have like two of these discs in one area, mm -hmm. that's a sanctuary. And that's usually good for your player abilities down here. Oh, I got you. Okay. Um, then, of course, you also have stuff like build gaining energy and all that other stuff. So if you have a question about what it is during the growth phase, just ask me and I'll help. Mm -hmm. sure. um, what's cool is as you remove these discs, your character powers up essentially. You'll right. be able to either get more energy on your turn right. or you'll be able to play more Sorry. cards. I feel like I have, a, I have more you discs do. than you guys. They balance that because you have the wetlands ability. And yeah. since you start in wetlands, you basically build sanctuaries really quickly. Okay. So you can basically so yeah, get around the board so off. fast, that's it's great. That's the range you can spread, here. not the amount of presence. Yes, that's the range you can spread, not the amount of presence. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, you could spread um, this one oh, two away. Oh, add a presence two, two away. Yeah. Add a presence one away. Up to away. two away. Because so, yeah. it's over an yeah. arrow. So um, yep, that yeah. makes sense. Then after all that's done, we play our cards, but we have to pay the energy to use our cards. So the energy is indicated at the top corners here. Gotcha. Some have, have zero, I have some have zero one. energy cards yes. in my hand right it's now. very so good. So that's Three really helpful. Card. Um, I believe energy and carries over. The color of the energy matters? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. Basically, if it's blue, that means it's a turtle card, which means it's slow. Okay. If it's red, it's a bird card, so it's fast. Okay. Gotcha. Essentially, that means if it's fast, it'll activate before they take their turn. Mm. But if it's slow, it, takes tur it activates after their turn. Okay. My abilities, however, are unique. So everyone also has a special rule based yep. on their character. Yours is anything in your wetlands basically becomes a sanctuary. Yours I defend is three in every land where I have a presence, or I have two presents. Yep, so this right here is a sanctuary, so you defend that extra. Defend three, okay. And uh, my ability is it, uh, certain, these cards also have elements. So mm -hmm. on this column over here, yeah. there are elements. So any card that I have Switch that I play here. with a wind, for each wind I play, I turn a turtle into a bird from my hand, here. Nice. which is really cool. Um, I also have cards in my hand right now that can help you guys play your cards faster too, which is very helpful. Um, the yeah, we other have to thing, help each other, obviously. Yeah. The other thing that I want to indicate is we also have our innate powers. So as long as you can play as many cards as you can, <laughs> uh, for as many cards as you can, if you have the number of elements corresponding with these abilities, you can do that. Mm. So if I have... Three fire and two wind, I can destroy one of these instantly. That's in my range. As long as it's within range of this. Um, so my range on my innate powers is zero. So you so have, to, have be to be on, on the them. area. Yep. My Yours speed. is also two, I believe. So yeah, that's really good. My uh, one, my bad. One, yeah. Um, the th other thing, though, is, however, your guys' abilities say instead if you go lower down. Right. So you must choose which to do out of these. Okay. My abilities, however, stack. Also, also do this. You may instead and do, do that, that and also. So I can do rapid, 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 rapid. So it's helpful. Derek! How's it going, Derek? Oh, so, oh, can you get by? Yep. Okay. So essentially, I think we should hopefully be ready to go. So does I, everyone I think know? I have a vague notion of what I'm doing. We'll figure it out as we I, go. I don't, okay. but I will figure it out. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like I'm going to understand it better once it's All right, so growth, growth first. You pick one, and do you use your little indicator to indicate what you picked? You could if you want, but these are also used for, like, um, what am I going to be doing during, uh, like, if uh, you're defending a certain area, yep. or if you're, uh, some card is still a lasting effect or something, that's what they're used for. But that's also a good visual indicator of what we're doing. Okay. So we can do that. So I have as my options uh, reclaim cards, which I don't need to do, and yep. add a presence, or gain a power card and add a presence on top of something I already have, or add a presence within one of me and gain two energy, which would be take two off of here. Oh, no, no, no. That just is in addition to what you'll earn during oh, your okay. setup. Okay. And how is energy indicated? Is it these, these over little here? markers here? Okay, cool. Which cool. are very cool. All right. All right. So, so, John, you've played before. Yes. So I feel like I I probably want to add a presence and get energy to start with. I definitely do not recommend you guys go for the reclaim ability first. Yeah, no. Because we haven't be played. I think cards. we're fine yeah. without reclaim. So the cards. whichever of these two you feel is best is totally up to you. If you want, you can play two in the same area and then yeah. make a sanctuary. Okay. 
Um, or you can do either one of these yeah. and get power cards. Power add yeah, add I'm going presence. to add a presence, or no, I'm going to gain a power and add a presence where I already am so that I can build a sanctuary here. All right. So we're playing with the power progression decks. So yep. just draw, so flip that over. Yep. And you'll draw the top card of the deck and add it to your hand. And that should be the card that's listed as number one. Uh, yes, big? it is. All right, great. So um, essentially, these cards, in a normal game, you would shuffle the minor deck, uh, power deck and the major power deck. And you would take four and pick one out of the stack. But we're doing the learn to play. Yes. So, so we we're going to be pre -built following deck. these pre-built decks. Yeah. The only thing is, if we draw That's into major powers, we'll have to get rid of a card from our deck. That's the trade-off. We'll figure that out when we get yeah, to exactly. major powers. But yeah, we'll that bridge that's pretty much it. it. All right, so I've chosen. All right, uh, Amanda, um, all right. what are so you doing for your group? My options are I can add a presence within... I can add two different presences. Mm -hmm. So, like, my guess is I could add a presence, like, here. Yep. And I could add a presence here. Mm -hmm. Or I could add two here. Mm -hmm. um, which... Rules question for John in the chat. Yes, sure. When it says she adds a presence within one, can she add a presence to her existing location? I believe so that should be fine. Build it on herself. It's up yeah. to the area, I believe. Um, your initial uh, presence should be on the same board. What? Same board. I, I, oh, because you're in the highest jungle on the same board. I'm, I believe you're talking about Earth, correct? Everyone starts their presence on the same on one board. They spread each other as they go. Okay, Earth starting presence should be on the same area. So yeah, you should be in this D board, essentially, I think. Okay. Should so, yeah. I be and also Amanda as well? Because um, I'm on this board yeah, here. She's I'm in on that board. C. So she should be here then? So yes. All right, great. All right, thank you. All right, it's no for, for the water spirit. Oh, that's her. Like I said, I've only played this solo, so I'm not sure what the other players are doing. Okay, so <laughs> no, no, they Water say. Spirit can stay here. <laughs> you correct? each have your own board. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. Uh, you're over here. Highest mountain will be here. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So that's fine. Now we're good. We're all in our own little areas. Okay. All right, great. Thank you, fine. chat. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, and for my choice of action... Oh, you still haven't chosen. So no, I here. haven't. Um, so... Because, see, the thing is, if I... If I build, so can I spread to there? Yes, because okay, that's within one Okay, because it range. is within one of me. It's just, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter that it's on a different board mm -hmm. after setup. Yes. So if I put one here, yeah. any of mine on a wetland count as two. Oh, yeah. right. You're in wetlands count as a sanctuary. So, yeah. So that's, m my thinking is I should put one here because that immediately counts as a sanctuary. That's totally fair. And I can put one somewhere else mm -hmm. and build it up later. Yep. That's totally something you can do. However, I also want to area... welcome, is it Twitsin01? Yeah. Who yeah. joined welcome. us and is helping us with rules. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> The All game right. is actually pretty popular. <laughs> well, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Like ever yeah, since I saw cool. the box, I've been dying to, to play this inside. thing. We, we, we are going to play it again on Columbus Day. Yes, yes. Columbus, Columbus Day stream. That's our plan. We'll play with Tooth and Claw. I do also have yeah. the Tooth and Claw expansion, and I'm getting the Kickstarter God uh, spirits as well. Nice. nice. So they'll be here soon, too. I don't know so much about the fifth and sixth player expansion, but we'll see. Maybe we should do yeah, a six-player game. That would be cool. Columbus Day six-player six game. That would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be a okay. lot of fun. Plan on it, folks. I just Columbus get Day six-player six game. Um, All right, we're gonna, we're gonna kick those invaders off so our just, island. Uh, whichever one, just push. Uh, I guess a marker here to indicate. Your yeah. Game so I think that is what I'm gonna do. My other option is to gain a power card and add two presents. Or in one, one place. Two range. One presence within two range. Two oh, range. right, 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 right. So you can um, send one here if you wanted. Yeah. And that would also count as... But you spread more presence. Yeah, if you if do you the other two. Yeah, two. I mean, like I said, because I am I get to add, like, two, and one of them can be in a wetland here, and mm -hmm. that would immediately count as a sanctuary, I, I'm inclined to do that right away. Okay. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So she done a thing. All right, great. Yeah, and John, what are you doing? And the one I'm taking is I'm going to get three energy immediately. Greater than game says Thumbs it's up. coming. And so. I'm going to be able to place one sanctuary within one range. I see what they mean. And I'm going to put the this one over to one. here. 
Excellent. Great. All right, so Amanda, did you so, place um, your pressings? I did not. So okay. um, I'm going to place. We do, that, John, we do that during the growth? Uh, we do that during the when growth. When we choose yeah. our growth. Okay. And you can um, choose either one, whichever one you oh, want to do. Okay. I'm going to do this one here from okay. presents. And I'm going to take one here from. It's energy from card and plays. that's card plays. Yeah. So now you have more card plays next turn. And I'm or gonna, this turn, I guess. I'm going to put it. Here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm hoping that was the right move. Hopefully it is. We'll find out. All right. All right. Next we move on to getting energy. Gain energy. Right. And then we can play cards. So according so to my board, I get two energy. You start with two energy gain. Not super huge amounts of I'm energy. I'm getting two but energy we as well because yep. I use some of my presence. And I get one energy. Okay. All right. And then we use the energy to cast cards, To cast right? cards, essentially, yes. Okay. So you can play as many cards as you uh, up to your player count. So <laughs> oh, you up to your card play. Sure. So you can play right. I can play one card. I can play three. Okay. Did and you not? Like um, we said, I'm slow. Uh, what, don't you get to play one sanctuary somewhere? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I add a presence where I already us. am. Yeah, so? I'm sorry to hear that your gaming group is not into it, Steve, but you're welcome so to you join us for the Columbus Day stream. You get yes. another energy, because you Officially have three now invited. energy. Ah, thank you, John, you're for welcome. correcting me on that. Yes, yeah, so totally now I have three energy. And now we can play cards. So, um... And I'm looking... So I'm sort of looking ahead at my superpowers here. Yes. And trying to bank those energies that that's I'll need in totally order to activate that's that. That's a viable option. It really uh, is. I can help a lot. So with I this. need, okay, I need yellow, gray, and green energy to do my things. Mm -hmm. But also, you'll get the effects that you have on your cards. Yes, yes. So uh, to help out, you just have to be within range. Of and I am far none away of you from you. In my yeah. Range. yeah. Uh, well, I'm this two area away here from you is here. Only, yeah, two away. Actually, this is because one, of that two. jungle. It's in yeah. The way. Just as a clarification uh, with the rules. So I have Lightning's Boon, and it says to any spirit. Does the spirit have to be on my range? To, uh, the, ra the range is indicated as like zero. Do they have to be on that my space? That sounds like I would have to. That does sound space space like there. yeah. All right, so yeah, the cards have. Oh no. Speed. So I can just play range, it, and then I can give anybody within the target and target land. Uh, change two of their slow cards into fast cards. Wow. Oh no. Okay, we're just making sure. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. So. Cool. Um, I so, okay, if more. I'm do going to be doing damage to something, because I have a fast card that takes two energy to play. Yes. Um, and it says one damage, but if target land is coastal, plus one damage. Yes, coastal means it would be along Touching that water. these waters around here. And it's okay. within one range of where I am. So if you're So here, I could do it here. Yes. And how much so, uh, damage is it? Two damage if it's coastal. Okay, so these need to take three damage to die. Okay. Um, Does damage carry over? It will reset after the turtle phase. Okay. So it'll stand so back. I up. don't really have enough to do enough damage to that. But these take one. I could do damage right here or right here and bump this they guy only take Or one we damage. can coordinate to try to deal damage together, which is also an available. All option. right. So I have. Yeah. Um, within one of a sanctuary. Okay, it's targeting the spirit. Okay. It automatically speeds them up regardless of range. Awesome, so I can I use like this that. to help someone. Cool. So what I can do is basically I oh, can turn two turtle powers into two fast If it was powers. zero, it would say zero on it. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, your ability means your range doesn't matter. You're just helping an ally. So that's also cool. really good for your combo. Ah. Where yeah. my ability says range dash. Exactly. I thought it meant I could only do stuff right on top of me. No, mm. it means you just do it. All right, All right. let me see. Um, so I've got some options. I do too. Um, I, I was going to gather. Play now, John, I have a card that allows me to remove and has an indication, but I don't know what that is. Is that blight? Let me see. Yes, you can remove blight, hey, and then you defend four. Okay. Show that you're defending up the Earth. area. You yeah. would take your token and defend. I mean, that does make sense that lightning would then That's speed what these up uh, the, tokens are for, um, essentially. The yeah. Earth so spirit. my turtle abilities, which you could potentially speed up. Yes. Uh, I have rituals of destruction, <laughs> uh, which would allow me to do two damage if target land within one range of a uh, sanctuary. And I've got two sanctuaries, so yep. I'm good with that. Um, 
So that's speed turtle and targets one land with a <laughs> hut on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it does two damage. If target land has at least three huts, plus three damage and two fear. Yes. So that would be total five damage if there were three huts. There's no place with three huts yet. However, certain cards can move huts around. So I have this card here that lets me push huts. So that means I can push them into an area adjacent to where I am. I but it's also a turtle ability. Um, it is. However, my ability is for each little card that I play with a uh, wind attribute, which is this purple one, mm -hmm. my turtles turn into birds. So you could push a hut in the bird turn, mm -hmm. then they move, then yep. I do massive damage in that place that you pushed a hut into, yes. if you could get a hut. If I can get... I can push two huts that are two within huts. my range. So I can push here, I can push here, I could push these two into an area. So I could, where is, what's the range of your uh, damaging ability? Uh, within one. Okay. So from here, I could hit here, here, here. It really, do, it's not good for this turn. Okay, but that's something we can work on in yeah. a future turn. They're so not I'm going to hang on to that for now. Okay. Uh, I have another turtle ability, gather up two workers and gather up two huts within one range of uh, I guess within one range of me it doesn't say uh, gather up to two work uh, two of these guys so you could gather them into a unique area essentially mm -hmm. um, and then gather up two huts so you would yeah wherever you're sink uh, this indicates Unless it indicates that you require a sanctuary, yeah. which is the two symbol, it's just got to be within one range of where yeah. one of them is. So that doesn't seem terribly useful at this stage. Ah. Uh, I have remove a blight and defend four. So explain to us what defend is. So during the ravaging phase, yep. they're going to attack the land indicated here. So if yeah, this gonna, sand was here, yep. every area with sand is going to take damage from whatever's <laughs> in the sand. But they're not going to ravage I mean, this turn. Yes, so, so defending that, isn't really sometimes necessary. Sometimes we right. what we did wrong right away. And it's quite good. Um, yeah, it's helpful to have somebody who knows how to play the game in chat. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we find out what we did wrong when we lose the game. <laughs> Sometimes we find out what we did wrong the next week when we play the same game again and I had the rules completely oh, right, wrong last right, week. Right, right, right. Sometimes we find out what we did wrong when the person who set up the game closes the game box and says, scoop. <laughs> <laughs> that was not on stream. That was not on stream, but that has happened. Okay. All right, so. Let me see. All right, so. That's my super damage. All right, so can I go yeah, over my cards have? with folks? Just yes, so, go you know, ahead. So my two bird cards yep. are a zero cost called Boon of Vigor, mm -hmm. um, which I can target any ally. ally. If I target myself, I gain one energy. Mm -hmm. If I target one of you guys, you gain one energy per power card you played this turn. Mm -hmm. So energy will carry over. Yep. Um, Flash Floods is a bird card. And it takes two to, ca to cast. I can cast it within one space of me. Yep. And I can target any land. Mm -hmm. One damage. If the land is coastal, plus one damage. So, so you could deal essentially two here. Yeah. Or, yeah. If I can help coordinate with that. Yeah. Like that, I'm, I'm heavily mm. considering that. Um, my turtle cards are for zero, River's Bounty. And uh, at a range of zero, so basically on my space, mm -hmm. um, gather up to two of these. Yep. If there are now at least two, add one and gain one energy. Nice. Okay. Um, and wash away, which is a one cost. <clears throat> it's a range of one and I can target any land. I push up to three um, of these guys, or three, I guess, of these? Yes, those yeah, are the, little the two buildings, little yeah. buildings. All right, um, um, for cards that... Uh, yeah. So that's a good card. All right, so for cards so that I have, I have one bird card that is a cost of one. Target spirit may use two of their turtles as if they were birds. Hmm. Uh, I also, however, have a turtle that's cost zero. I can push two huts, and I can add fear to the fear pool 
if I push, uh, if a hut is pushed into an area with a, a basically a, uh, a colony, or into an area with a, um, a level two building. Um, so that's a way I can generate fear. I can also use shadowed ho uh, shattered homesteads. I just add one fear and I can destroy one of these. That's within range two. That's all okay. And I also have this. Deal one damage to each invader within the range, which is range one, one any uh, land. So if it could all be focused in one area, I can deal one damage to one thing basically within my range. Okay, so, so that would have to be though here, 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 or here. Nobody has any means of getting me more energy at this stage. Not currently. Okay, um, I have three oh, energy. I available. do. She does. She does. Oh, okay. Because if I target you with Boon of Vigor, which costs me nothing to cast, so I yeah. might as well. Um, you gain one energy per power card you played this turn. So what's? Is there a stack here? Yeah, like, John. How we is can that we can happen? coordinate how we're going to play. We play them. We don't have turns. We okay. can play them all in. So you could play something. All right. And then I play this, and then you gain energy, energy. for the card that you already played. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So if you play so three well, cards, you'll get three. I'm going to be playing that. So my plan is to do something small. Yep. Have Amanda give me one energy, and then do something big with three. Yep, that's totally a viable option. All right, so first, and I'm I'm wasting some stuff here, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, Wait for the cards before they take effect. Yeah. Yep. So. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna pay one energy. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to rouse the trees and stones. So this is going to do two damage and push one person in a land that has no blight within range one of a sanctuary. I'm just going to do two damage here. Okay. Bam, bam. So you immediately destroy this? Yes, I immediately destroy that, which generates one, one fear. fear. Nice. Whoa, they're scared of us now. Yep. All right. That's a very high-pitched noise for Earth oh, God. Sorry. Oh, they're scared of us now. <laughs> There's no reason why an Earth God can't have a high-pitched noise. And then voice. we were going to use... His voice is oh, the oh, sound that of does wind not go blowing off. through rugs. Sorry, that does not go rocks. off. Yeah. It's a turtle oh, card. It's, it's a, a turtle, turtle card. But you played it. So we don't have the fear. So not I yet. have played it, which yeah. means... You played it and paid for it, so now I can pay my play my zero-cost card. Yep. yep. And you get to Target energy. you, yep. and you gain an energy back mm -hmm. for okay. that. So that goes in my discard pile. Then I can uh, pay one energy to make your cards fast this turn. So if you can play another big hit card or something like that, okay. I can make both of them go off before they have a turn to react. Awesome. So do you have another beefy card you're going to play I now? do have another beefy card I'm going to put out. So I'm going to pay three. You play all three. your cards before you do effects? Yes, yes, that's what we were just saying. That I, I didn't destroy that yet. Right, right, yeah, right. I played the card. But this happens oh i'm next. sorry at fast speed yeah so i get my energy back after we've played okay so yes. i i don't, so you have, don't that have that energy. energy yet yeah okay that's fine play them all and then resolve them in any order during your phases okay oh, yeah. yeah all right that that's okay uh so i don't have enough energy then to cast my big things explain to me again how gathering works uh gathering essentially means um you basically draw them to your areas. Pushing means you push them away from your areas. Okay. It's so like if you had a gathering card that let you gather one of these, yeah. you could gather it from here into here. Yes. And pushing is the opposite. Yeah. All right. So hang on. Map, 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 map. Okay. I'm going to then... Thank you for joining us, Greater Than Games. Yeah, yes. thank you so Very much. Cool. It was awesome to have you here. And thank you for your help. Have a good oh, one. and Andy, you only have one card play this turn anyway. Oh, you're so right. So wow. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm done. That's the one you want to be? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Twitsan. So. I have two card plays because I used an energy that. I have three card plays. So I used a presence play. that gave me that, so. So. Bum, bum, bum. All right, I'm getting the hang of some of the mechanics. Yes. We'll figure out it how it works while, as we go. Uh, do you want to make my thing fast? I'm it going does, to, It does yeah. make it easier um, ha seeing it in motion than so it was I'm just hearing about it. I'm going to play Lightning's Boon, so that takes one energy. Now that card is fast, so okay. you can activate it, I believe, now. Well, no, we activate it when we go to the bird phase. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then I have Shattered Homestead. So that takes two energy, one, 
And then I have. Hmm. How many card plays? And then I can you push get? this card in. You get three card plays? So I guess three you're lightning. Three card plays. I am yeah. lightning. Yeah. So I can push two. It's the flash. So does. It Anything I do, would you wipe no, these huts anywhere not. indicated? <laughs> or actually, I, I have, to, I'd have to gather them to pull them towards me. Okay. The I mean, you could push these huts. Yeah. Like here or something, but will that help you in a coming turn? No. 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 If I can spread myself this way next turn, mm -hmm. then I. If you can push a hut into here, okay. I can do massive, massive damage. All right, with three then that's huts. what I'm going to do. So I'm going to play per Harbinger Bird, so that costs nothing. And I oh, push it there. doesn't push yet. We It pushes when we hit the... Bird. Well, it's a turtle move. It is a turtle move, but I have uh, three wind. So that means <laughs> anything that's a turtle on my setup I right can. now will be fast. So I have uh, one, two, three fire, so I can destroy one of these within range. So I can destroy that. You have three fire and two wind already? Yep, because one, two, all of my cards are essentially wind fire. Mm. That's really good. I want to play as the ocean now. So, the ocean is very hard though. I don't care. It's I love the ocean. It's so hard. You start basically on an edge in uh -huh. one wetlands, and your whole thing is like massive damage, and you have like no control ability. It's very hard. It's almost like there's also Nightmare who's really hard. He has no damage, he's all fear. So he basically oh, just goes yeah, straight up Yeah, infects their the, minds. The, and it's that like, sounds oh like my fun. God. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Oh, this game I is just, so cool. I, I love like, it's all really the cool. I know I don't want to start with the ocean, but I want to play it now. Oh. <laughs> Having looked at it, You're I really want to play it. All right, so um, I'm sorry. So how do we want to decide how this is going to go? So I gave you bird. You so are you moving to, into bird's phase? I understand how much I love the ocean. All right, so we're moving spirit into bird phase. phase right? We're done. Okay. Bird phase. Bird Cards phase. in an eight. So I'm going to do two damage and push a guy. I'm going to do the two damage here. There's no guys, so I can't push anybody. Mm -hmm. But kabam, that dies. We get a fear. And we get that fear. Oh. Could I have played a second bird card? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh sure. Okay. Play as many so as I'm going to play you, flash floods. Well, All how right. many? You've got three. I have two cards two. to play. Two. Okay. And how much energy did you get? Two? So you just two. pay that two energy. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Good going. Good going. Um, and that does one damage, but if the target land is coastal, I do two damage. All right, All right. so now do your both your bird things. Exactly, I'm okay with eating people. Okay, so um, I'm going to target Andy. Yep. Or should I? No, because... You could target John. He's played three cards this I have turn. played three cards. That'll give me three energy. Yeah, then I'll target you. You get three energy. Awesome. Cool. Um, and... Now I'm going to do two, a damage to an inland because there's no coastal... These all have one health. So you yeah, there's no coastal health. land that, I, that I'm that i close to that I can do two damage to that won't just... I would recommend... Revamp so I could kill one of these one guys. Because yeah. he's on the hut. Yeah, let's right. do that. So right. I'm going to do a damage to him. And he's dead. That he doesn't get us any fear, no. but it no. gets rid of a, a worker. Yeah. Okay. And is there anything else you were going to do? Um... And nope. you gave me the energy. Yes, so I gave good. you the energy. So, yeah. so and I already sped resolved. your thing up because of my uh, speed ability. Yep, so you've um, got two so now other... I'm going to automatically add a fear. Awesome. And then I can destroy, as long as it's within two range of this, I can destroy any building. So I destroy this. That's another fear. That's another fear. All right. Um, We're doing great so far. So now I have, an, I have another question. Yes. Sure. So I have an innate power. Ah, yeah. Yeah. To um, yes, as long push. as it's within range of this. So within range of. But you don't have any sanctuaries. And it is slow. But these count as sanctuaries. Oh, oh, your ones are twos. Yep. Ah. If they're in wetlands. Ah. But it won't so, push yet because it's a turtle, so it'll go right. off in the turtle phase. I'm just, I, I just want to make sure that that's okay to mm -hmm. do when the turtle phase hits. Yes. Because I've played these cards, so I have what I need. Yes. Awesome. All right. Um. um <coughs> next. Awesome. This I'm is so much fun. All right. Pushing. So we're. Yep. I have to push two. Okay. So you have to push two. It's up to two. Up to two. So Why don't you just push one? I'll push one into here if that's okay. Because I will get another fear off of that. How'd... I have so to push it out of my area. I can't. Yes, you have area. to push it out of your area. I understand that. 
why would you get a fear for pushing a hut in That's the, uh, the effect. The effect of the card. Oh, okay. One fear if you pushed any hut essentially into a land with either a big building or another building. All right, so my Oh, put one of my markers on this. it because I'll, otherwise I'll forget. Okay. To, yeah. 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 Um, my response to this is we want to get three huts here as soon as, soon as, as possible. Because so I'm going to spread this way and then I'm going to pound on that house. So I can push two here if you want. Okay. So is that and good? then I'll try and find some way to get a third hut there. All right. Before awesome. the end of next turn. I don't know if there's a way, but okay. we'll find out. We'll see. And I can't get my power off. Yeah, if right a bunch of natives no just show up there. outside your walls, it's kind of scary. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. they just appear, it's to me. I guess in that's my terrifying. Mind, it's like um, Fangorn. Oh, Shall we add yeah. that fear? Uh, like just, I just don't showing think I up did. outside. I added one fear uh, for here. Isengard. How many buildings do we destroy? I destroyed a building. I destroyed another building. That's two fear, that's and two you fear. added one for and that, so you get one more fear. Four, four fear. fear. Nice. All right. All right. Good uh, job. As soon as we get all this fear in here, we'll flip one of these cards. And these are always good. Awesome. Okay. They're always usually good. All right. Now all these go into the discard unless they're turtles uh, and are we're waiting for them to activate. But I think we're all, all right, good, so right? So this is discard. Yep. Now they do their phase. Now in the discard, I don't get my innate ability. No, no, no. They, they will stack into your innate ability if... Um, uh, no, no just, not on this turn. Basically, uh, these will float, essentially. Hmm? Like the, I'm just the effects setting mine like this, Andy, so that I know how much I have. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Okay, I see. Essentially. Okay. So um, that's also, in my discard. It's already fired. Uh, you don't spend them. You just need to hit like the certain numbers yeah. and you can get the thing. I, yeah, I, I get that's that why piece. I'm just sort of stacking mine that yeah. way so that I know what I've built up to. And yeah. All right, now awful things happen yeah. because now when, bomb, when it does, is the enemy's When turn. does my innate ability uh, go? It's a turtle phase, will phase go, so it's after it's the after enemy's they go? So, yeah. Okay. After your um, invader phase. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. I see the little. So basically, okay. first they will blighted effects will happen, but we don't have any blight effects because we're right not because we haven't hit no uh, fear effects would go off. If when, we had a oh, fear. we're playing the beginning game, so we don't have blight yeah. effects. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, ravage, but the nothing's getting ravaged this turn. Yep, we're lucky so Builds, far. Uh, so they're going to build yeah, on sand. My sands. ability is slow. I'm not okay. so much discarding. So if any invaders are present, so I can see what I have. add a hut or a. a Small building or a large building? Yes. So everyone on sand they're going to build. Should have killed that guy. Oh, well. Even here. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we All got right. rid of this one, so that was good. Explore. Yeah. If a source of uh, invaders is adjacent to present at... Adjacent slash present. So we flip this over. a guy. So jungles. So essentially... Oh, that's the explore. That's I see. So that's there... There, not here because there's nothing around here. Okay. But they will come here and here. So if they're adjacent or present with a guy. So yeah, also yeah. unfortunately here. Man, so yeah. man, look at all those guys. Uh, then that I card, like them. this card moves down here. They're going to ravage sand next turn. Okay. And then so that's we just to leave that like that. And they're going to build on jungle next turn. Yes. Okay, Annoying. so this helps us to plan ahead a little bit. Yes, which is right. very useful. And then, so that's um, explore, and then advance the invader cards. You did that, and now we're back to us. Uh -huh. now, now it's turtle time. Turtle powers. All right. Amanda had some turtle powers. I have an innate turtle power yep, you that can push. lets me push an invader um, or a small building mm -hmm. away from me. Yep. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So you're here, so you can push this one yep. if you like. And it's within one, one distance look at my hand again. of any of my sanctuaries. Mm -hmm. So it's either of these, basically. Okay. Um, I could push this invader away. Okay. I can push this invader or this, and I can push this. Uh, this won't get built if there's no invader in the by the house. So that's really good if you could get rid of that. That's true. Um, where should I push him to? The mountains, maybe? That might be good. They're already blighted. We don't have right anything well. happening on the mountains next turn. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. So you're pushing that building into the mountains? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Man, this island. You build a building and yeah, suddenly... Yeah, looks scary. <laughs> okay. And that should be the end of the turn. I cool. believe right. there's no other effects after that. Then time passes. And, uh... 
What happens when time passes? Let me just double check through a book. Da -da 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 -da. Time passes. Played power cards go to the personal discard pile. Damage and elements go away. So yeah. Basically, if these things had been damaged, we would flip them back up and whatnot. Ah, uh, yeah. good idea. Okay. All right, and they now rebuilt. we uh, basically begin our next phase. Okay. All right. So now so we go I to So I have grow. a relevant question. Yes. Powers go away. What does that mean? Oh, if there was like defense. Oh, okay. If there's something like on the board as mm -hmm. like happening right there. Gotcha. As indicated. All right. So now we're back to choosing our growth. So yeah. I'm going to go with reclaim my cards. I'll get the next minor power card, which is really good because now I can push or add two fear. And yeah, it costs me one energy. I'm not going to reclaim energy. yet. Um, I'm going to gain energy, energy and add a presence within range one of myself. Okay, I'm you get two energy, my right? Cards. Yep, two energy. So there you go. Thank you. Um, gain a power card. And then you get one and energy. one energy. There you go. I'm slow, but Thank once you. I get moving, watch out. I can really help with All right. that. And uh, I add a presence within one of me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a... F oh, I already <laughs> said I was going to expand this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I want more card plays. Oh, it doesn't give me more card plays. You can get more energy, though, I think. Yeah. Yeah, more I just energy. pushed things. Uh, it, it was a very... I need to build towards more card phase. plays, though. Yes. So I'm going to push out into here. That's a viable option. Nice. Um, I didn't get to build this turn because I got yeah. my cards back. Yeah, same. All right. All right. Now we go into turns for cards. Okay. Yeah, so. I've got four energy. Oh, no, we gain energy. We gain energy. We do Don't get we? our energy. Yeah. I get three more. I, I get, get two. one. And you get two. Get the hang two. of this. I think I'm beginning to pick oh, it up. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now we play cards. So I'm going to be playing, I think... Delusions of Danger, which is the card I just got. Nice. It will add automatically two fear. I've got seven energy to spend. So I think I'm going to go for a full fear move if I can. Let me see. Let me see. Now, they're going to ravage sand. So if we can clear them off sand, that would be a really good thing. Especially okay. since I'm on sand over here. i got to start killing those things. Or I could gather th I can stuff definitely off of sand. Yeah. Probably deal with them. If you can him. gather them off of sand into one area, I have this card right here. And if I'm within one range of it, I can deal one damage to everything on that space. It's a really good card. Okay. One damage to everything on that space. So if they were all here, I could deal one damage to everything on that space. I don't have anything that pushes. I've got I gather. I do have a push card, but it only pushes an explorer. Yeah. Um, so, question. Yes. I have gather up to two explorers and gather up to two huts. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says, as the target, any uh, within range one of me. So I don't have to target a single land. I can target land. all around the place. It should be all awesome. around. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to, and this is a turtle ability. Uh, I'm going to pay one yep. to gather up to two settlers. Grab these guys here. Or no, where are they building? They're building on grass. I'm going to gather they these will build guys on grass, yeah. over to here. Okay. And then I'm going to grab these two huts okay. and yoink those into here. So now there's three huts and two settlers. Well, no, no, no. That, that's turtle. you got to wait till. Yeah, oh, you can't oh, do but that. But that's yet. my plan. Yeah, that is your plan. Okay. Okay. So these were. were we so yeah, they were there. Yes, there. Okay. All right, so that's my plan. Okay. I'm going to do that. Uh, would you like me to speed you up? Uh, well, uh, I'm sorry? Uh, gather the adjacent land you pick. You target a land. Okay, it has to be one land. And pull into that land. And gather from the adjacent land. Oh, okay, pick great. Pick one land and pull into that land. But do I have to pick a land that I uh, occupy? Quentin said you did it right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me look up the definition for pull. An all caps no does not unfortunately get our attention any faster <laughs> than regular. Because, you know what will get um, our attention? Just send us a bit every yeah. time you want <laughs> us to look at the every screen and we'll hear the noise. Every time wrong and you want our attention, <laughs> it's really give handy. us bits. Um, it yeah. doesn't have to be lots of bits, just a single bit and that'll just make a noise sense. and we'll look. Um, all right, so that's one thing that I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm spending a whole ton of energy, though. 
So I'm also going to spend three energy he pulled to do two, two, two damage. Lands. No, he was pulling into a single land. Yeah, he was pulling into. Yeah. Uh, he was pulling uh, everything into this land into right that here. One, yeah. yeah. He pulled from two different lands, but he pulled Ooh. into a single. So land. I'm paying three energy to enact the rituals of destruction, which will mm. do two damage uh, to a land within one of a sanctuary that has a hut. Okay. Uh, so that's something I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to pay three energy. Um, oh no, I only get one place. card yeah, play. Get one card oh, this is so hard. Yeah. This is so hard. I'm going to take those three energy back. Well, you can. Uh, I'm still that, doing the gather you're thing. You're still going to do the gather yeah. thing? Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to make it a fast ability? So it happens right away? Yeah. Well, yeah, like because we want right it to away. happen before they get a chance to grow. All right, yeah. pay one energy. Okay, so that's going to be a fast That'll ability. Be a fast ability, and I can also make uh, your innate power, I believe, also fast. But it already is fast. I yeah. don't have my innate power activated yet. Yeah. I need a yeah. yellow. All right. Um, I'm going to be playing Boon of Vigor. So, once we know how many cards people have played, um, I'll give one of you energy, or okay. I may give myself energy. We'll see what ends up happening. Okay. Now I'm, I'm just going to take a short nap while John tells us how he plays his entire hand. Uh, I can only play three cards. Flash, okay? <laughs> I can only play three cards, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let me see. What do I get out of this? What do I get out of this? I just can't get into uh, any of these yet. That. However, I could play all of these and then just go for destroying a one of those, but that's not within range of me, unfortunately. Which? This uh, big this hut? Because I don't have a sanctuary here. Oh, you need a sanctuary. Yeah. Uh. I can add a ton of fear, which is nice, if you want. Yeah, if we can get the fear up a bit. So, um. I have a card. This was my minor power yep. that I drew. Um, and I just want to make you guys aware of it, because I can play it. It is really turtle. Good. Yeah. Um, at this... At turtle speed, mm -hmm. within range of one of my sanctuaries, mm -hmm. if invaders are present, I gain a fear, or we Who's put a fear, fear in. Um, if the target land is a, I believe this means a sand or a wetland. A uh, sand or. Yep, or. Awesome. Remove one blight. Yep. So. Um, There's blight in the mountains there. Yeah, I'm not within one because that's not a sanctuary not a sanctuary, yeah. but oh yeah invaders are present here yeah so i can target this land because this is a sanctuary mm -hmm. and i can put a fear in, in the, the fear pile all right as soon as we're through with all this fear we'll flip the first card so we're looking forward to that i see that yeah, the, the fear I, I deck is separated by soon. these little things what yeah. happens when we hit so those if we get through three of these cards uh, our win condition becomes easier. We don't have to get rid of all the explorers. Now we just got to get rid of all the buildings uh, and the big ones. Okay. So From fear there, is definitely something we want to spread yeah, as much as we can. Yeah, we definitely want to be and doing that. And then if we get through that one, we get just having to get rid of the big buildings. And from there, if we get rid of all the fear cards... We win. We just win. Yeah, and we just win. That would be yeah. nice. Um, right, I don't so think we have time for that tonight. Putting but. some fear into our opponents is definitely all key. Right, so. so I am going to have that out. Okay. All right. And that um, is a turtle, though, right? It's a turtle. It's just, it's out. It's, okay, it's I'm being going played. to... So you've, you've played one card so far? I've played one card so far. Oh, and I am paying one to cast it. I yeah. could just play my entire hand, actually. Can you? you? You can only cast three. Yeah. No, no, I can't write. Dang. Yeah, see, I keep forgetting that. I can only I have play the one card at a time. Three. Next right, turn. So You're, you have to give yourself. I have to get another more. play. Yeah. I'm glad energy doesn't go away between turns. I would be doomed. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. What I'm going to do is. Well, I mean, Greater Than Games does know what they're doing in terms of balancing it so that you actually get to play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can do this. Okay. I'm going to the Shattered Homestead. That'll destroy, I think, that. Cool. Okay. Um, it's very necessary that this goes first, right? I mean, we no want that what. to happen before their grow phase, because I'm pulling guys out of some All of right. these areas here. Because uh, I could destroy a lot, basically all of this if I could. But 
I don't know. Invader. Uh, God, it's so hard. I know, right? Mm. Just play something. Just go. I know, I know. You're fast. Don't I think. Am very fast. All right, let's go with uh, Raging Storm. Costs three energy. Three more energy, yeah. Well, you've used up all your energy. All right, now uh, your whole my hand. speed. So these are all. Now we're moving on to Bird. We're all, all right, let's cards. move to Bird. Um, all right, so speed cards. Well, so. first, cast your thing that makes this fast. That's fast. This is fast. All right, I'm gonna suck some guys and stuff, some stuff into my land. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this guy, zoop into this land. Okay. This guy, zoop into the same land there. Okay. And then these two huts, zoop into the same land here. So now there's three huts and two dudes here. Okay. Uh, would you like to go next, or do you want me to? Sure. Do you have a bird thing, Amanda? I yeah. do. That will give, that'll give energy to somebody. Yeah. So how many cards did you play? I played three. You played three? He needs more energy than I do. Yeah, I've got plenty of so energy. so get three energy, man. All right, three energy. All right, John. Everything you have is a bird, right? Everything I have is a bird, and I have my ability. Okay. So that's really good. So actually, I think you can just do this. Because really two good. of yours say they're turtles, but that's a lie. Yeah. Because you have enough. That's your innate ability is to make I'm those I'm also putting birds. a token on my innate power so I don't forget to use yeah. it during the turtle okay. phase. Yeah, my innate power so still isn't activated. I'm going to be destroying both of these immediately because I have one that destroys automatically and my innate power that I can make fast also will destroy this. So that's two more fear. Nice. Nice. One, yep. two. Excellent. Well played. Then I can deal one damage, so I'll, I'll just deal it here uh, to everything in so one area. So that's there. Is that within what range? Of one range. Is that all part of the same action, though? Uh, the same card? No, that's a different card. Why not kill this guy here, who's going to grow uh, during the enemy's phase? Ah, uh, if you want to. I was just worried about him ravaging. But he's only going to deal one damage, so he won't kill anything anyway, I guess. Yeah. So I guess that's fair. Yeah, we don't uh, want him So I'll, I'll kill this one. That's okay. fair. Uh, then, uh, I also add a fear for this card effect alone. Yep. So that's good. Lots of fear. Excellent, yep. excellent. And be that afraid, I think should be it. All yeah, right. I'm pretty sure. Enemy phase. Things so, are going to happen. Blighted now, effects. So No blighted effects. We have no blight effects. Yes. Fear effects. Uh, we have no fear effects yet. Okay. Ravage. Invaders damage the land and huts. Add blight if the land takes two, two or more, more damage. damage. So not here. Not here. At which area is it getting ravaged? Just sand? Yeah, sand is being ravaged. So this area is going to get ravaged. So that's one blight here. Okay. It's not. It's just one if there's two damage, right? Or is it for each two? Add one blight if the land takes two or more damage. So this one right here takes blight. Okay. And this one just doesn't matter. So those are all safe. Because um, it only takes one damage. Uh, yes. Okay. Next is the build. And surviving huts fight back, but there's no huts that were hit by that ravage. Oh, this one takes uh, fights back because these are hit. So. Okay, so they he does one damage to a hut. Yeah. Does that hut go away? Or? No, no, no. Uh, they have health of two. Okay, so he does one damage to a hut. And the hut and then fights the hut, back. Bam, bam, knocks him off the board. Uh, it should. Yeah, two damage. Okay. Awesome. Um, and yeah. Now we're into the build phase. So they'll build They're on building jungles. building on jungles. So this guy builds. Yep. Uh, I took the guys off these jungles. You killed that guy. There's no guys here. This guy builds. He builds. And that should be it for that. Okay. Uh, okay. So you can have multiple giant houses on a place, right? Yes. If he were to build again, you would get yeah. a giant house there? Yeah. That would suck. Yeah. Uh, well, then flip bad. over the top card. Okay. Explore in the mountains. Okay, so explore here. Explore here. Uh, explore here. Sure, I'm happy with here. that. That's fine. And, and this explore mountain over here. Explore there. So explore is just every one of that place gets yeah. an explore. What about this one? Well, um, only if it's like adjacent. So this oh, has, okay. so but this one nothing. still technically counts yeah. as an explorer there. 
Oh yeah, it's adjacent to this one. So yeah. So it gets one. Oh god, they're stuck together. There we go. All right. John, I'm sad to say I think Amanda is not going to paint your minis here. Yeah, no. no. no, no. <laughs> all, right, all right, so yeah. All right, so <laughs> next turn, they're building on mountains and ravaging, ravaging jungles, jungles and discarding sand. What's discard? They're just gone. Doesn't affect us anymore, only so that's towns good. And cities. Hmm? No, only, only towns. That didn't make a noise, Andy. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. So that means that explorers next to them don't spawn them. So this guy's gone. This guy's gone. Uh, Wait. Oh, uh, that has a that has a town. Oh, it does. Next to it, so yeah. This and this has a town. Have. All right. So yeah, that actually still works. No. So this but is this the one, one that gets nobody. Get nobody. That okay. one gets nobody. All right. All right. Adjacent to or occupied yeah. by towns so or cities. Only town so that the last one doesn't go or coastal. Okay. Uh, hey, and giving us one bit means you're the bit boss now. Ooh, congratulations, Ben. <laughs> Red Number one Benjamin. here. <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right. All right. Now turtles go. Does anyone have turtle effects that they can use? Uh, maybe you I had a turtle have left. turtle effects. I have two, actually, because I had Uncanny Melting, which I cast, yep. and my innate power as a turtle, and I have what yeah. I need yeah. for that. All right. Um, so my innate power mm -hmm. is I get to push. Oop, there was a bit noise. Oh, now hey. Nate is the bit Weird. lord. Now Nate is, is the bit lord. Um, bit lord. <laughs> for whatever reason, that made a noise, but one didn't make a noise. I don't know. That's weird. weird. Anyway, um, so I can push one uh, dude or Little small house. yeah settlement. Um, where shall I push? It has All to right. be within one of these two. Right. Let's remember they're going to build in mountains. Yep. So if we can push the mount the thing away from the mountains, right? Where would you like yeah. to put it then? They're gonna explore. We don't know where they're gonna explore. Yeah. That's a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's a bit war. Oh, bit war. <laughs> well, then. All right. Would you like to put them in jungle? No, it'll well, ravage the jungle. No, because we don't want to do that. So the water might be the best option. Yeah, and if okay Amanda can expand in there, If I can expand into there, yeah. You I should be able to. Get, yeah, because yeah, I'm right, I'm next to it, so, and yeah. that'll count as a sanctuary. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. And my other turtle effect is I can target any land within uh, one of my sanctuaries. Uh -huh. And if invaders are present, um, we put a fear in the fear pile. Not bad. Yeah. Well, that's so, pretty easy because... So we get a fear right now? Yeah. Awesome. Um, so I need to target a land, so I guess... A land with... Within, within one of this. Yeah. There's three invaders. different lands. Yeah. Um, if the target land is sand or water, I would remove a blight token. So if you target this guy, you could push him it, into... No, you don't push no, him. No, because it's blight. It's remove a blight. Oh, it's not push a dude. Yeah. If, I w if this was a sanctuary, I could remove that. I could target okay, this, okay. remove... But either way, we get a fear, right? Yeah, we get a fear no matter what. All right, John, when we remove a I'll blight say I'm token, targeting does it go here. back into the yes, blight pool? Yes, it'll go back to the yeah. blight pool. Eh, okay. Uh, that's um, however, if one that. of ours is destroyed, it's gone. <laughs> we don't get it back. Mm. Okay, Do we bits? don't want that. How does that happen? Uh, usually, if you take too much damage, I believe it's... Um, <laughs> no, sorry, Nate. I have one bit, so, you know, that I can't uh, enter the bit war. I have some bits on my main Your regular account, account? Yeah, but I'm not see. logged in with I my could go main buy account. some bits. You could. You could quickly watch some ads while we're playing to get some I, bits. I could. Bit mine. Um, um, so, now that's Is that happens. the end of Turtle? That should be the end of Turtle, I believe, because nobody else has All a right. Turtle ability, right? Time passes. Everybody heals. Everybody heals. So this hut heals. That's the only thing that's really yeah. damaged. Yep. Yeah. Blight is added where you have a presence. You lose it. That's how you lose uh, sanctuaries. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. All right. So was this blight already here before I moved in there? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Okay. So I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. No Anywho, more blight. You ready? All right. Okay. So then, what are we going to do for our growth? I'm spreading my my presence. This goes in my discard. Uh, I got to do the same. I'm gonna spread. Um, uh, I'm going to put one in here. I don't need more energy. Should I, guys, should I head this way to, like, start trying to deal with these guys? Out, I think. That might not be a bad idea. 
I'm going to put. And I'm going to move it's gotta be into one here. here. Two away from there. So, yeah. That's my plan. I'm going to be gaining yeah, three energy that. this turn. I'm going to get another power card. This is better than drawing. Than, uh, one each per player present. Okay. So, like, if we had a presence where more I already than one am. spirit right. presence in there, each one of those would use one. So, I can add three fear this turn. Can anyone do anything? Which would like almost that? get us there. Can anyone else add I don't have anything. Do that, have oh, any I do have. Cards. Oh, maybe you can add uh, any fear. I have something that's going to add two fear. So what happens if we empty that? Does it refill we and we immediately? And then we flip this card. Um, I did my growth. Can I gain some energy? Yeah. From my track? We'll, we'll, um, we'll now gain energy. Yeah. So I get one energy. I get two. Two energy for you. Yeah, I don't have anything that produces fear. I If I had gained my cards back, but I really wanted to spread yeah. myself out a All right, bit. I have a question about what's going to happen during their next build phase. So. These three guys here. They will all build... So we'll get three buildings there? Yeah. All right, I'm going to need you to speed me. Uh, I cannot. Oh, no. Not back. Oh, no. Well, uh, I mean, no, that's OK. That's it's OK. Fine. That's right. fine. Because uh, the buildings are two hit points each. Yeah, so they'll fight back. They'll fight back? Yeah, remember they retaliate. Yeah. No, these guys retaliate. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, 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 I'm saying... Um, oh, they deal one each. These so. guys will build buildings. No, we only get one well, building, first it's off, they say. Oh, it's only one building? All right, that's fine. Well, it's not exactly fine, because there's three here. <laughs> they'll deal It's not fine, damage. but it's not as bad. They'll, they'll blight the land. So that ain't good. If they kill a HUD, it blights the land? No, no, no. They have three guys. They're going to deal three damage. So that means it's going to be two damage minimal they had to blight. So that'll destroy... Mm. Will that destroy all of his uh, places here by getting one blight, or only one? Excuse me. Do I have any speedy things? So I really like this game. I just, I, I'm... It, it's a lot I of cards. Feel, I feel like it's more no, of a, an all-day play yeah. than I don't a, think we're gonna an get through evening the whole stream thing play, unfortunately. That, that's understandable. Um, it, it has scenarios as well, with more lore. Aha! I'm I've got all, it. I'm all over all right, that. We're, we're happy. We're totally happy. All right, okay. so one of the things I'm going to be doing this turn okay. is I'm paying three energy for this. Okay, and that's a bird. Uh, hmm? and that's it's a, a bird. bird. I choose any land within one range of me. Invaders skip all actions in target land. Nice. So they are not going to be building or anything attacking there. or doing Good. anything. Great. That's great. Okay. Uh, I am also going. Well, uh, yes, I get two cards. Yeah, I'm also now. going to pay three energy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I never gained energy. Oh, I have three energy. Here, have some energy, so, Andy. Well, uh, no, I'm, I'm it. spending it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use three energy to do two damage in this section. Right. If okay. target land has three huts, which it does, yep. do five damage and gain two fear. Oh, great. So we're going to be good with that, and I'll play... That's a turtle action, though, okay. so but it's okay. All right. It's going to happen. I'm going to play... That's my two cards, but that activates my innate abilities. I have two yellow... Two yellow. Uh, one, two, three, four brown or gray, and... Those are discarded. One, two, oh, oh, it doesn't count these. No. They have Darn to be it. all in one turn. Darn it. Sorry about I that. misunderstood that. My discard pile doesn't help me. All right, so I've... Tap your discards. Yeah, yeah sure. that's a good idea. All right. I misunderstood that. I thought I was building towards something awesome. Sorry, dude. Yeah, uh, Andy is oh well. looking at his uh, character special power. Um, and he wants it so bad. But I can't well, get it. Andy, what's your special rule? Hmm? Anywhere he has uh, two sanctuaries, they have three defense. Oh. Well, well, is it two sanctuaries or two presents? Yeah, two that, presents. that's a sanctuary. A yeah, sanctuary. Any, any sanctuary. Well, not two sanctuaries. Yeah, yeah. two yeah. presents. So, yeah. Defend three in every land where you have a sanctuary. Yep. So this. So maybe I don't need yeah, to do this. You don't need to do that because you'll block Instead, three damage. Instead, I can do this, but still, yeah, that gets me there. 
All right, so I'll do this instead. Guard the healing land. It's a bird speed thing. Mm -hmm. Within one of a sanctuary, any land, remove a blight and defend four. All right, do you want to remove it from here, here, and yeah. Those no, are I'm going to do it here. Okay, great. So it's going to defend four and remove, well, it's a, it's a bird. Just put a marker down to show that it's going to be defended. So you would take yeah, like put a- one of your little- and, yep. Well, we'll put it down when we get to the- Okay. The bird face. It, has everybody spent all their stuff and done all their I things? I have not. I've played okay. my thing. Okay. Um, so my question now is, <laughs> bits for rules corrections. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give us corrections. Give us money for doing things wrong. Um, so my options right yes, incentivizing now. Incentivizing us to do things poorly is yeah. maybe not the best idea. We yeah. do things poorly without any help at all. Yeah. True. Um, <laughs> And we do things poorly when we have no help at all. True. Um, so my options are a bird card that lets me do one damage, and if the target land is coastal, plus one damage. Yep. Um, and that's within one range of me. So I could do some two damage over here. That would wipe that. Well, it would deal, uh, it doesn't deal everything two damage. Right. Deals. I could get rid of mm -hmm. one or the other, yeah. basically. Um, yeah, and if that or, guy attacks... Which he is going to because he's going to there, ravage. I could get rid of something He'll get hit here. back by yeah. that building, so that's fine. They're yeah. ravaging jungles, correct? Yes. So yeah, that's a good option. I feel like that's a good yeah, option Yeah, that's there. definitely yeah. a good play. Um, and I can play two cards this turn. My other two cards How are... How much does that cost? That's two energy? Two energy. So yeah, just um, that. My other two cards are both turtles. One is a zero cost and one is a one cost. The zero cost is River's Bounty, where I can gather um, up to two huts to me. Okay. Um, and if there are now at least two huts, I add a hut and gain one energy. Nice. Um, my other option is wash away, where I get to push up to three dudes or small buildings. Hmm. That's hmm. hard. They're both turtle, but... They're both good. They are They're both good. Be I would probably save mountains. up... I would say energy is probably a better idea. I'm getting uh, energy. Good. Energy's good. All right, then I'll hold on to this. I'll cast that. Um, it costs me zero to cast, so I'll play. I'll pay two for the flash floods. Yep. And that's a bird ability. It's uh, going to do a damage. Does that activate your um, ability? It will innate. activate my innate ability. Yes. All right. Okay. And I will not have my innate ability active. Uh, my yeah. innate ability one. Two. two. What happens when you tie my for number is one? Um, is it? I. It puts you in number two because you didn't do it. Oh first. yeah, yeah, yeah! You got it. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, if you do that, you already had it. You'll be able to so reactivate one of our turn. Turn. Target spirit may repeat one power card with energy cost of one or less. So you could do that twice. No, one or That's less. That's two. You could do your zero twice in the River's turtle Bounty phase. Uh, twice. What's yours? Mine is uh, pushing, but I'm going to add two fear automatically. So I'm going to let you add four fear. All right, but uh, do you not want to add fear then? Or is that not better, I guess? Or what is your other I don't think so it matters. If we wipe all this fear out, yeah, more it, fear comes and we get to make more fear, right? It should be, yeah. All right. It right. works for me. I, more awesome. fear is better. All right, let's More uh, fear means more human. Let's do this. So. All uh, right, so. I guess Bird I'll start phase. Mine. Yes. I have remove a blight and defend four. So oh. this territory is defended four, and, you and I remove blight. this blight. Put it over there. Excellent. All right. I have for a bird add two fear, and then Excellent. your ability. Do you want to use that now? Is that yes? It is bird speed. Yeah, you have Once a bird this speed turn, ability. Once this turn, target spirit may activate their power. So you activate that a second yep. time. We've used up all that fear. And now we'll flip this card over. Yes, what happens? So we get the level one. Invaders do not build lands uh, in lands with these uh, level three buildings. Okay. Nice. Good job. Yeah. Good right. job us. Um, and I have a bird ability that I do one damage, or if target land is coastal, plus one damage, so an additional. So I think I was saying I was going to do it here. And do two damage to that house. And do house. two damage. Well, do I want to do damage to the house? Yes, because that guy is going to ravage that hut, and the hut is going to punch him in the face. Uh, oh, all the fear stays yeah, in yeah, there? Yeah, it'll stay there, there till after bird. And then we'll get the bird. Yeah. Uh, I'm aware of that. I just want to make sure that we'll push it we back over yeah. after the... 
Yeah. Okay, okay. So we don't want to generate any more fear in bird face. Not right okay. now. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, but still, destroy that building. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy that building. Yeah. You're right. Do and it. That adds up. Well, that doesn't add any. That's fear the right end now. of bird phase. Yeah. The fear goes back. Fear should go back, I believe. Yeah. So add more like now. No pool resets now. Wait. No fear effect goes after bird phase. No pool resets now. So if you add more like now, it'll go off. So is there anything else that adds fear this turn? I don't have anything else. I'm confused. Okay, so, so the no fear, effect fear effects go off. I go think it's after no the bird phase. fear effect goes after bird phase. Yeah. All right, Hold so on. we don't get this until the bird phase is over. Which it just did, so I flipped it over. Okay. So yeah. uh, Hold on. If you add more... So if the turtle phase were to add more fear, now it can add more fear okay. in the turtle phase. I'm okay. fine with that. If that... I as think long as we're right. internally consistent. It's resolved I, after the bird phase. Yes. So okay. bird phase ends. Fear, fear effect Fear happens. effect happens. All this goes then back into the pool. Then invaders get their pool. thing. Okay. Fear pool. Reset. Refills. Yeah. And then this card takes effect and affects as we go into the invader phase. Okay. Awesome. So that it, it, it affects how the invader mechanic then we're works. Worse. Yeah. We're good at this game. So far. Okay. And so then I kill the town, so we add one fear? Yeah. All right, great. Sure. We're working with it. We're working with it. I'm good making people scared. Okay. Now. I flooded a town. Jeez. Gee, I feel Fine. like that probably all happened right, right. to now us recently. Now it's their turn. Now it's their turn. So starting Blood land effects, nothing. nothing. Fear effects. Yes. Yes. They will not build on anywhere with a three building. Okay. So that means that this area won't build... This area won't build. This area won't oh, build let's area. get to the ravage phase first. Yeah, ravage. Ravage. Uh, any jungle they is will, going to ravage. They will ravage here, so put a blight here, please. Yep, they do. And they're going to kill this. Oh, my town. My hut. So that's one dead. Yeah, one dead. that's sad. Uh, where else? There's no way to regrow huts? They'll attack here, but this one will retaliate and kill this. Yes. Nothing uh, here. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing here. So okay. everything else is good. All right. Build phase. They will build. If invaders are present at mountains. At mountains, they add a thing. So this does nothing. Yep. Actually, they you defended this area, right? Because you have the yeah. sanctuary. So these still get to attack back, right? Oh, I don't know. So I think they get to retaliate and kill them. I'm uh, fairly that, certain that's, that's a how good that question. Work, right? So that territory. Had three invaders. But also three huts. Um, and they it's defend building. three. So yeah. do they actually oh, right. they damage didn't ravage the huts? It. They didn't damage anything. They, didn't damage they do three damage, but it's all negated. No, uh, because they're not they're not ravaging, so they don't deal damage. My bad. I missed... Uh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're in build they're phase. Building. But they won't right. build because of your card effect, right? Um, no. My, my, I didn't use that card effect. Oh, so they will build. They will build, okay. which okay. is fine. So we get three houses there. Uh, one, house. one house. Oh, one house. That's even better. Uh, even better. This one gets one house. Yep. Uh, this one gets one house. Yep. Uh, this one upgrades. Do do do. do. All right. This one gets a house. Wait, 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 wait. They do not they build, don't build with the three, because so yeah. of our fear effect. They're yeah. too scared. To build. To, build. to build more. Okay. Uh, to grow any larger. Now. Is there anything else? Uh, that's build phase. Explore phase. If a source of invaders is adjacent to or present to the explorer, which is coastal lands. Coastal lands. So these are these areas. Let me just make sure that it's not all three areas by the coast. If so, that's, oh, that's not good. Let me see. Well, I mean, it's it's adjacent to buildings. It is. Yeah. So all three coastal lands get explored. Yeah. That's fine. That's annoying. It's just more explorers. Boats landing on our shores. Yeah. <coughs> all right. That all right. is the end of their phase. Advance the invader cards. What happens to the one that's It just in is in the discard oh, pile. Oh, oh, I see. It's just a discard so, pile. Zoop. Okay. Move it down. Jute. Move oh, down. down. So turtles. So now they're going to build in the coastal lands and ravage in the mountains. All right. Now it's the turtles. All right. So I have a turtle innate power that I can push a dude 
And I have my river's bounty where I get to gather two huts to me. And if there are now at least two huts in the lands that I'm targeting, I add one hut and gain an energy. So... What's up, Benjamin? You need to fix that city. What city? We have some mistakes. What, what city did we miss? The cities are... Nothing's been damaged. I, I'm not sure what you're referring to, Stephen. I'm sure we made mistakes, but I coastal feel like we're on top of this. all coastal lands. Oh, so lands by the coast? Is that what you're trying to say? It must be. Yeah, that kind of makes more sense than them, like, occupying the sea. So It's all the this, lands along this, the coast. Okay. This. Upper mountain land with, uh, with flight should have the town back. So this area? Is that what he's saying? This didn't have a town in it. That didn't have a town in it. Mountain. Oh, this this mountain with the blight? Yeah. Did it not get a build? No, no, this one got upgraded to the level three. That's what happened. The city you upgrade, yeah. you actually add. And you actually add. When they build, they, they add, they don't upgrade. Oh. Oh, it should, should have a town, town and a city. city. Okay, both, so put the town, the little one there. All okay. right, so we got that wrong, but now we've oh. learned. There we go. Thank you again, chat. All right, so we're adding dudes. Yes. Where are we adding dudes? I, we All added along a dude the coast. Here. All the coast. Add a dude there. there. This is horrible. Yeah. yeah, coastal lands is definitely not happy. Andy. There and there. All right. Wow, look at them all. So did we have a small town there in this one before? Yes. Did we? And then they And we upgraded built into two, that. Exactly. But it's supposed to be, it's an ad, not an upgrade. Right. So it should be two small towns. Huh? Is that how it should be? Because it said it's a town and a it's city. Both. It's ad, not it's an upgrade. Both. Yeah. Uh -huh. Isn't that awful? And don't say not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. It's both not now, an upgrade, but it should be a, a it should be build and upgrade. All right. So, what is the move? Now we're uh, back to us. We're turtles, right? Yes. So what? Uh, what Can I do my like? turtle power? Just because it's going to be awesome. As long as it's awesome. Do it. Turtle power activate. Okay. So, uh, rituals of destruction in this territory, which is within one of me and has yeah. a hut. Do two damage. If uh, that target has three huts, which it does because I gathered some huts yep. there, do three more damage and add two fear. All right, great. And Love add it. another fear because I bur built, destroyed a city. So you've got three fear in there. So four fear. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, right. rocks fall, everyone dies. I'm okay, okay. with that. Um, so I have two turtle things happening. I'm gathering two huts to me. Okay. Uh, within, I have to be, I target a land. It says range zero. Yeah. So it's one that I'm already in. Mm -hmm. And I gather two huts. Does that mean I'm gathering huts from outside? Let me see the, the card I'm saying. N0, N8. Gather two huts. So yeah, yeah, you can bring them within an adjacent area to where you are. Gotcha, okay. So you gather so, these two over to here if you wanted. I don't really want to do that. Up to two huts. I could gather bring this one out of here into yeah. there with me. Yeah. And if there are now at least two, I add another. All right, great. Oh, we grow a hut. Yeah. No. Yay! To replace Hooray the us. Yeah, this is the trick. There is a real lag. Oh, and yeah. And so sometimes yeah. it yeah. feels like we've, we're trying to address something and we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> exactly. Because you think we haven't seen you, but we've seen you at That's the speed right. that we can. Yeah. yeah. Um, the lag is confusing. Yeah. Um, God, that coastal lands. That was awful. That was right. horrible. Um, and I gain an energy. All right, great. For having done that. One energy. All right. Um, and I get to push a dude or a small town. 
Okay, um, within all right. within one distance, so one range information. of one of my yeah. sanctuaries. They're going so to they're going to ravage in the mountains. Yep. Yeah. And they're going to build in all the coastal lands. Mm -hmm. That's dreadful. That's pretty bad. That's horrible. To be I fair, like it's a, a one in something chance because right. there's always one card from each of the levels left out. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty bad. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't like that at all. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you can push somebody away from the coast so we get less building, yeah, that would be helpful. I think. Yeah, I. Can we push them into the sea? Get in the sea. There, there's the ocean. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a viable um, option without the ocean. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Maybe push that guy out of there into that into the desert. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want. This is all horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll okay. Move him in here. All right. I yeah. mean, I I feel is like I should use it. Is that all the turtle actions? It. Yeah. That I mean, that's both of mine. Action. So. Okay. Right. These go in my discard. So, I'm going to reclaim. Get back all my See, cards. This goes okay. away. I get Push me one in the water. That goes away. And I get yeah. my next card. Oh, how did you get a card? Oh, because that's also uh, I gain one power card. Oh, I got. Oh, that you're, we're already in oh, growth. Oh, we're in growth. Yeah, that's all goes back to growth. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I need to grab my hand back. I think I need my cards again. I need my cards. Ooh, back. this is a really good card. For each hut in the area, I do this. It's one damage. So. That's pretty good. I have three energy. I'm gonna get three right. more. I can play two cards. I'm gonna. Um, um, one energy for okay. that. Um, I can, can build I gain, within Can I get two. three energy, please? Oh, there you go. Because I gained one from picking this growth. I'm going to I gained a power card expand and into I get there. two okay. energy from here. So. Right? That should be fine. I'm thinking. Discard the fear card. Oh, yeah. Oh, this goes away? Yeah. Thank you. It would be really good if it stayed. I know. But yeah. Uh, so this is my discard pile. I won't play a ton of cards on my turn. Fan won't can help. That would be very good. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Uh, let me see. That's not going to help me very much now. Three. Oh, oh. If I can... Yeah, I can play these five cards on my turn. Does anybody have the ability... No. All right. I did. John, do you have anything that lets you pull on a hut or push a hut? Uh, yes, I do. I can push two huts. Can you push this hut into that land this yes. turn? Yes. Do you want me to just All play right, my then hand I'm, now? I'm redrawing my hand. Well, hold on one sec. Do you want me to uh, just... I can play my entire ha uh, hand pretty much this turn. Do you want me to just play it out now? Well, are we are we done with growth? I'm done with my growth. I'm done with growth. Okay, then uh, growth. let's gain energy. I got my I energy. energy. Got mine. All right, then yes, let's start playing cards. Okay, playing five cards immediately, so it uses all of my energy. Boom. I play first up. So do you want slow effects to be fast? Does anyone need slow effects to be fast this turn? I do. Yes. Okay. Yes, I would like slow effects to be fast. Two of your slows are fast. All right, because I'm going to be paying three energy to do this. And then I'm going, going to, to be paying... Four bird speed to make all four of these fast. Awesome. I'm going to pay three more energy I am to the do lightning. that. Amanda, I'm out of energy if you can... I know John could get That's five energy, which is super useful. Uh, or you could give two energy to me. Uh, that's a good question. Your utility is very helpful. Yeah. Super good. Where are they ravaging? In the mountains. He, he Did just he get, Yeah, he just got his yeah. energy, yeah. So... I'm gonna push. So I drew another minor power. Um, okay. My new card is Nature's Resilience. It's a one cost bird card. So at the range of one from any of my sanctuaries. Yep, so here, um, here, here. Yeah. 
I can defend six. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Um, if I have two blue up, yep. I can instead remove a blight. That's really good. So um, you could remove it from there? Yeah, but I don't have two blue up, and I can only play two cards okay. this turn, so I can't... It, this doesn't have a blue, so it doesn't... Okay. It wouldn't pop that. Um, but I can definitely defend six within range of one from my um, my sanctuary. Okay. Which, to me, says either here or here. Yeah. Uh, what's getting ravaged? Mountains. So... Yeah. You make me fast, so don't worry about these guys. Yeah, okay. those are gonna be good. Or I'm I gonna defend, defend here. that territory, so don't worry about those guys. Okay. So have you played all your cards so far though? I played all the cards I'm gonna be able to play. Okay. I play I have two cards, I'm slow. Okay. So I could defend here, because that's gonna get ravaged and that yeah. is within one of one of my sanctuaries, because I sanctuary is on either side of it. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Um so I think that might be the best the play. one. Okay. Um so I'll play that. Okay. And that'll get defended. Well, it doesn't get defended yet. But, but it'll, it'll, it'll get it defended, be. and yeah. I want to yeah. remember that remember it's. That I want to remember that that's where I'm planning on okay. it, so that, that I don't costs go one. back through okay. that thought process okay. again. All right. Um, and I can play Boon of Vigor. Yeah. And well, give one of you guys energy. I could really use two energy for next turn. But I will only get one energy per turn. Yeah. That's the only. Whereas energy. you get three. Okay. Yeah, you need it. So and I'll he's gonna get five, five energy back, from that. So yeah. That's okay. So yeah, I will That's play fair. my zero cost boon of vigor. Just means that I don't get my innate ability next um, turn. Um, and okay. I target you. You gain one energy per power card you played this turn. I will get my innate ability though this turn, which is really good. I do not get my innate ability this turn, so okay. I will not be pushing anyone. So. Should we start doing our things with our birds? All right, so you sped me yeah. up. Yep, so both of your cards. Which means I get to do both my things. Yep. One is remove one blight and defend four in any location that is within one of a uh, sanctuary. So I'm defending four there Okay. and removing one blight. There's no blight. Okay. My other one is that super powerful rituals of destruction again. Uh, within one of a sanctuary of mine, I have a sanctuary here. Yep. Uh, a place with huts. This place has huts. Yep. Oh no, you need to push that I'll first. I'll push first. So okay. I'm going to push this into here. Thank and you. we get a fear. Excellent. Thank you for that fear. You're welcome. Now, oh actually, I have my innate ability that lets me duplicate anybody's power. Yep. Do you have any power that you're going to want to duplicate? Uh, I can destroy two big buildings, like level threes. That sounds helpful. That I can destroy really this helpful. one or this one, but nothing I'm gonna else is going to wipe really this. So you're going to wipe that. Yeah. So that's good. I can wipe this with just my first time, but I can use, any of my other cards will be helpful. All right, Seriously. so I'm probably going to duplicate one of your cards. Okay. Let me do my other bird action because you sped me up. Yeah. So I'm going to do two damage here, because yep. it's got huts. It's got three huts, so okay. I'll do an additional three damage and two fear. Okay. So one, so two damage. damage. Yep. One, two damage. Yep. Three more damage to that. And that adds two fear. That adds two fear. Nice. Plus the two fear that I just added from my card. Okay. That's, That's my move. Um, has to be a card, not an ability. Yeah, that's fair, because that, that, that'll help my card here, which is really good. Okay. So you can make my Delusion of Danger go off twice. Sure. So cool. that'll add, or any of these cards, actually. So, Well, just not this one, because everything else is a one. Yeah. But anything else you can... Okay. 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 Do you have any bird abilities? Did you already fire off? I already did. I already fired okay. off. Right. So I'm going to now... And I'm defending six. All right. So I'm going to use my innate ability and immediately nuke I'm this one. I'm adding defense to that one. So I'm able that to... That gives them two fear? That gives them two more fear. I add another two fear because of this card, so we're just going to max out the fear. Okay, fear is maxed. Okay, great. Then, uh, equal to the number of huts I'm near, I can deal damage. So, nuts. See, that was kind of the plan there because I was going to like... Uh, Punched them all over. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. But instead. Can I look at my other minor powers? Oh, I'll just push these two over here. 
correct? Is it like is that? I mean, they're cool? they're ordered. So. And then I'll just orders, kill so. these two because I can. So that's that card. That's done. This is done. This is done. Oh, I like I that. Can destroy this card, which will add another fear, but we can't right now. Okay. Or actually, it resets, right? And then we do one. So that's okay. another fear. And that adds another fear because of the card's are innate ability. Okay. It's really good. And, uh, and if you want, you want, I can double this card and make her power fast. Okay. Do you want me to make your power fast because you, your turtle? I'm not getting my innate power. You're not getting your innate power. I, my, this card doesn't have any yellow or blue on it, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I already made you fast anyway. There's no so. reason to double that. Yeah. Uh, except right. does it add fear? <laughs> Uh, this one added fear. It, I'll just double up this one so we get two more fear. Okay. So I use my innate power on you. Ah, you add extra fear. More fear! That's the end of bird phase. That is the end of bird now phase. Now it's their phase. Okay. All right. uh, gonna, since you guys were doing all that stuff, I'm yeah. going to bring your attention to the chat and see if you can figure out. Uh, I'm looking at one powers. More. Add one card. Who? Yep, fear resets and add a card. Yep, we add this card. So. Oh, we'll that's right. That happens before. Yeah. After the bird phase. So, so before that, the uh, dudes start yep. doing their. Oh, cool. Their All right, so fear effects thing. are going off now. Go ahead. What's it do? All right. Uh, yes. We're still invaders, at level one. Uh, explorers. No. Invaders do not explore into areas with at least two huts. Nice. Okay. Um, so where are they exploring? Steve also says there should be five fear tokens. All I'm right. not going to argue with you on yeah, that well, one. That sounds Trust good. your math. All right. We're good. Okay. Uh, this is fun. Now they do their thing. Yep. So we did the fear effects. Where Ravage. are they ravaging? They are ravaging in the mountains. So one here. It's good. Four here. So that one takes a blight. Yep. Well, you defended. Yep. How much is the defense? Defend three. So it takes one. Uh, no, defend four. All Sorry. right, so nothing happens. Yeah. Okay. That. This one. I defended six. Nothing happens. Uh, and that's all the mountains that they're at? I believe they are. Awesome. Because we killed a whole bunch of them. Yeah, because that. Good job defending. Yeah. Go team. Woo! This is going great. Go team uh, spirit. Then they build. So they'll build on the coastal cities. <sighs> which is not good. No, so. well, we killed these guys. So he's going to build. Yeah. He'll we get build. a hut there. They're going to build a big house. Big house. Boom. They're going to build another big house, or do they not build any further than one house? I, they they have to house. keep building, I think. So I don't know if they build a big house, but they might build another small house. I'm not sure. Let's, can I see the instructions? Here's the instructions. Well, we'll ask chat, and they'll come back to yeah. us in five Depends minutes. Depends on how bad you want it. What? Yeah. They're talking about bit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. One second. So, chat, a They're question for you. Them. All right. And they, oh, uh, they say hut. So it's a, it's a small one. Okay. Boom. I trust them. I do too. All right. He builds over there. Or no, well, he does actually, not build because there is. I going to say cottages no, and townhouses. One. So he'll build the there. Fear the fear effect right that. now, may I, may I yeah. see the fear card? Yeah. Is Nothing any place here, that has two here, huts. Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one build. doesn't get built. Yeah, so invaders that's good. do not explore into lands with at least two huts. Oh, they won't oh, explore. Explore. Okay. explore. So he'll build. Okay. All right. Now. So they're um, going to build? We already did that. Oh, you already did that. Yeah. Okay. And he already built. Oh, that's everybody. Say that's everybody. Okay. Twitzan, I'm guessing you mean. The level two buildings or the level three buildings? Because they add huts and, and less there's more huts than towns. Can I see? I'm sorry. Is that the level used. one card? So okay. Yeah. Do you, so do you mean like the little building, the town? Okay. So it's, yeah. Because I would say like, let's let's just clarify terminology. Yeah. Um. So towns and cities. Dude, are different. town, city. Yeah. Okay. Is the order great. that it goes in, and our little mushrooms are huts. Okay. Okay. Just great. so that I'm not mixed up, because otherwise my brain is not. Makes sense. I'm gonna handle it. Okay. Uh, I can do that all on wow. my next turn, too, if we need to. Yeah, Travis, step to that. Whoa! Please do. Step. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 100 bits. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. That's a lot of bits. Okay. Uh, they built, and we have to see where they're exploring. Yeah, right. where are they exploring next? They are exploring. 
in the mountains. What does this mean? To mountain, mountain with a hut? Let me see. Can I see that? Or mountain with a village? It's a castle symbol, so let me see what's that. Mountain with a village. 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 Mountain Adversary icon is on. Something an adversary does. Oh, that's uh, I think based on the scenarios. Oh, okay, and we're not playing with scenarios. Yeah. Oh, we're playing okay, the okay. beginner game. But so, nothing here. They explore in mountains. Not here. Not here. Uh, There's no not one in here. Not here because no, no one's there. There, they are because this. It oh, doesn't that have guy. A, that borders all of that. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What are we? Okay, not here because these the towns. The huts yeah. prevent it. But here because this, this one is right all there. one piece, yep. and they're over here, yeah. so they do explore into there. Okay, this one gets a dude. Okay. This one, I believe, gets a dude. Yeah, definitely. It has, there's a house in it. Yeah. So. Uh, this one. Yeah, it's a dude. Um, yeah, that one's getting messy. I'm gonna have to get in there. You're gonna have to deal with that. We're pretty one. cleared up here. My damage is great. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense. So yeah, that that's a thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Now turtles. Does anyone's turtle effect go off? I unfortunately no. This My goes to power a does not pile. Fire. Yep. And that's that. What about you? You have a turtle innate power. Oh, I already used it. I made it fast. Oh, okay. Awesome. My ability. Okay. Cool. Now, let's go again. All right. So All time passes. Right. Time, time passes. passes. Everything heals, powers, yada yada. Okay. Uh, what is everyone going to do for their growth? I am going to add presence in some places. I believe this should finally give you like threes. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, you got yeah. threes. So I think, let's see, where can I add some presence? Mm. Oh man, you can yeah. basically cover anywhere over here, really, if you need to. I can put two in one place yes. and make it a sanctuary. Yes. And then start Doing. using it as a base of operations. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna. I don't think we're do gonna that. lose. I'm gonna gain two, two energy. What is that? I think we'll lose to losing all of our area. I don't think we gotta yeah. worry about that. So I think I'm going to put two here because I feel like it gives me a good spot to okay. reach from. So I'm going to put two there. All right. And now... What uh, did you do? I choose that I have two in there. to get my entire hand back again. Nice. Is that card in your hand as well? Yes. Um, get my entire thing back. I get another energy. We gain energy. And I'm finally going to get the first major power. Nice. So I major power energy. requires I get, I get rid of a please, card. Andy? Yeah. So I have to lose a power permanently. Yeah. That's the trade-off. Oh, so you get the a major, major power, power I'll get is Power Storm, which is a fast ability and it targets allies. The target spirit gets three energy. And once this, sure. uh, once during this turn, the target may repeat a power card they have played again uh, by paying the cost. But you've gotten but, but three, energy. three energy. But you get three so energy, you so it's really good. Read. And if I hit my numbers and my symbols correctly, Target may repeat up to two more power cards by paying their cost. So essentially, you could do three. Wow, nice. Okay. These are what the major powers give you. They're yeah. very good. I was looking at some of my other powers. So my um, so my major my first major power is Accelerated Rot, which casts for four, um, puts two fear in the fear pool. If I'm 100% honest, I'm going to trade four damage. It's, my it's other nice. three Raging Storm out, I'm going to get rid of it. It's only one damage to each invader in yeah. a target area. And I'm going to go with taking yeah, the power Yeah, that, that's a lot better. And I already gained the energy for that. I need one energy for my startup. Yep. Uh, I'm still able to play five cards during a turn, so it should hopefully be a good combo. I can now play three cards during a turn, which, which is, is much real healthy. nice. Yeah. I'm up to three cards during a turn, so this is awesome, awesome. too. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we got. I'm going to play five cards again. So I'm gonna be playing three cards today. Oh, that's awesome! Do you have? Uh, did you get energy for your thing? I did. 
Great. Uh, so I got two energy from this and gained three energy from my presence. Um, I also, the next time that I um, do a thing, I can, re like this power here lets me reclaim one card. Oh, nifty. Like okay. instead of play getting another play card, I get to reclaim a card. Nice. Which is nice. kind of cool. Okay. So Twitzan, um, Twitch has a currency that you can purchase through Amazon called Bits. And Bits Five. are basically one cent per bit to us. Um, yeah. So you can toss little bits, little like pennies. It's basically like throwing change at us. Um, and it's sort of it, you can use them to you know show appreciation for something or get our attention which is what we've been doing um yeah because we have it set to make a noise yeah. it makes when a we noise get a when we total. get bits um you can Although it hasn't been consistent today I it's feel been like. doing no. it for when you get more than one one oh, okay. at a time doesn't seem to be actually making the noise which might be a setting on our part yeah. um but there's also if you look in the chat up at the top of the chat there's a little the setting is. that says um, who the bit leader is, and they get a special badge next to their name. So you'll see nice. that S. Benjamin has the little number one in a gold circle next to his name. That is because he is the current bit leader. And up at the top of the um, chat, there's that little banner. And the banner will say, one, like, two, who is number one, number two, number three. three. So right now we have Steve Five, in first place with 124 bits. Uh, Travis, who has 16 Angry Bears with 25 bits, and Nate, who is Nate Tosuka, and he has 15 bits. So they have given us a bunch of bits tonight. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. Which is really awesome. Thank you. Um, it was our first bit war, which is our first real <laughs> bit war. Travis and I have had a couple of minor bit wars, but um, but then somebody this just drummed yeah, yeah, the banners up at the top of the up at the top of the chat. So that's really cool. By the it's way, have we finally had 100 fo uh, easily, followers? We, we passed 100 followers last week, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. So we got a bunch of followers when Amanda and I were painting on stream. Yeah. Uh, Very cool. So that was awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's just, you can earn bits, you can buy bits through Amazon. If you don't want to actually spend money to buy bits, you can watch ads and um, earn bits for watching ads, which is often what I do. So these four um, I have to just say. to have bits to toss into the streams that I'm enjoying. So I'm going to be to casting three things today. Yeah, Retro Jim did one, shut that down with 200 one, bits. This costs That's right. three. Yeah, you and I were like doing a little minor thing in Retro Jim. Okay. Was like, 200, bam. Done. Do you want speed? Um, uh, yeah, they probably be a, amount to like a cent a bit. Dropping five. Um, not to buy them, but All right. in terms of what. So I'm let's wait until Amanda's done talking. Um, yeah. She... So yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, watching ads for bits is usually like between five and twenty bits, depending on the ad. And there's usually some sort of interactive component to it. Like I had a whole slew of ads where Aww. it was for like. So alcohol ravaging in the mountains. water. It was weird. Yeah. Um, Building in the like flavored water. We didn't move it up. We didn't move it up. It was bizarre. Okay. So it'll it was be like, ravaging on the coastal cities, about which is all the coastal cities. Um, but that was giving me like and building in the mountains. I can generate this turn at least five. But I had to like say which flavor. And if your power goes off, I can do the sediment, and we get the next period. You have to click on something, and we get the easier wind condition. I usually do it in another window. Can I? Double my <laughs> um, my own. Yeah, eventually powers. it'll it'll lock you out. Of um, that's a good um, option. It, it should be an option. There's a certain number per day or per week that they'll let you watch. So it, I'm actually I limit. think one two one two and, uh, three also, one. And also, if you have an Amazon Prime, I can account, let you also cast this you twice also if you want. Have a Twitch Prime subscription to use on any stream that you choose each month. Um, once a month, you get to pick a stream. Um, it expires at the end of that month, but um, or like a month from when you you subbed. But you do, if you have Amazon Prime, get to get a free sub to any one stream. Um, so yeah, if you have that. 
yeah. could toss it our way, or if there's another stream that you're watching and you really like, you can toss yeah, it our If you sub way. to our stream, you get our cool shield emote, which raise uh, those shields. Yeah, Nate is going to yeah. show off right now. Yeah, <laughs> or, which, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Trav Travis can can show it off. Travis yeah. has the sub badge. Um, we are affiliated, which means that we can get bits, and we have one emote so and so the star mm -hmm. sub badge. Um, we are not partners because we don't have that. I'm gonna cast. Uh, no, <laughs> we need more viewers to hit partner. Yeah, we're not there yet. We'll get there. Oh, Travis! Hi, yeah. Hey, Travis. Oh, there he goes. Woo. Bit leader by by one. Thank you. And yeah. there's the shield. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, throw up the shields. Throw yeah. up the shields. Okay. All right, so now I'm I'm done talking. Oh okay. yeah, there's yeah. Steve getting in there with two more bits. <laughs> such a bit war. Battle of inches. All right, sorry guys, I had to interact with the chat. It's that's cool. part oh, of my job cool. as the only mod. So um, he's cast his whole hand. Yeah, not he has a, not his whole almost hand. his almost whole hand. hand. It's okay. You always Andy. You always keep one card in hand. Sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep a card in reserve. <laughs> All right, uh, so and I've cast three. So I oh, sped him up. Oh, those were from my last turn, so I'm going to move those over here because I don't have that. I sped his cards up. You sped his cards up. Cards yeah. up. So I have... Well, you're going to have sped my cards yes. up. We, we've done some yeah, strategizing. Yeah. So some strategizing. I have flash floods. Yes. Which I can do within any within one range of anywhere I am at. Yes. Okay. So I can do, do one that. damage, and if target land is coastal, two damage. Okay. I feel like that's important right now. Yeah. yeah. We want um, to do so I am definitely going to pay the energy to play that card. Okay. okay. You've got two more cards? I can play two more cards, yes. Okay. Um, so there's... And that's a bird speed. Nice. Yeah. My All my other cards right now are turtle speed, um, but I can play Uncanny Melting, which is a bird speed card, but it does give me my... Um, Ability. Your innate. innate power. Um if invaders are present. Oh, 20 bits, woohoo! 20 bits! Woo! Um, yeah, I I don't think this war is gonna end. <laughs> no, it's going pretty strong. Just keeps going. I encourage you to keep fighting. Yeah, um, it's a lot of fun. So, within uh, one range of any of my sanctuaries. Okay. If invaders are present, we add a fear to the fear pile. Nice. And if the land is a sand or wetland, I can remove a blight from it. Okay. Um. So I can remove a blight from here mm -hmm. or here. Nice. Either way. Um, so I think I will do that. So can I have two back, please? Yep. There you go. Thank you. And one and more. And I have one more I can play for one. Um, which would actually get me to this ability instead of this ability, which lets me do more damage and push up to three dudes or small towns. I still towns. wish we could push them into the sea. God, wouldn't that be uh, great? Be really cool. Um, when, and that lets me push up to three dudes or small towns. All right. All right. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, and pay one to do that. All right. And so my those are turtle effects, so they'll come into play eventually. Later. But it will get me to here, so it will fire off my innate power. Okay. So I'm going to put that there so I don't forget about it. Um, which lets me do two damage and push up to three dudes or small towns. Okay. All right. So I I'm going to be moving a lot around. And you bird powered me, so I'm I bird powered okay. you. Right. So let's let's start firing stuff off. Let's move into right. bird phase. Bird yeah, power. Somehow I think Steve's ambition is um, powerful. <laughs> yeah. All, All right. right. So, so lightning's boon. You get bird power. I'm bird powered. <sighs> okay. Amanda, do you need to be bird powered as well? Because I can double that. I I have once per make... turn. I choose somebody and they can repeat one power. But maybe I want to do it to you so you do more damage? Are you doing something that does damage? Her, her coastal city. My, um... Oh. Yeah, I can, do, I can repeat this and do two damage to two coastal All right, zones. so I, just so we know what I plan, I'm going to make them unable to do any actions. In that area? In that, that area. Um, I'm going to be doing two damage and pushing one 
my plan is to do that here and push this guy over here okay. so that he's not going to be uh, Don't I have to pay to repeat? Okay. I, I, I have the money to pay to repeat. Oh, good I question. have okay. um, this Once card. Per turn, that target one. spirit may repeat one power card with energy cost of one or less. That is so sad, Travis. I have this card, Power Stone. Uh, it'll let you repeat again and give you three energy to repeat. So that could be six on a coastal city. Yeah, I have I have four energy to to spend. Yeah, mine so does good. not require you to spend energy. Yes. but it's a card a card of one energy or less. But uh, with this, I can also let her spend uh, up to three times on three cards, which is All really right. good. But if we stack it, that means she gets to do this three times and those twice. If All she right. can pay it off, can you pay it off with the other stuff? I have four. I will that, give you three with this. Th that I. So you'll give me three more. That'll give me six, seven. Seven, so. That'll be. Why don't you do that now? I'll do that now. Here's seven. I'm giving you this power. Cool. Okay. So I've through. already done. Well, let me do this. Yeah. Uh, invaders skip all ta all actions in target land. So right here. Right there. All right. Great. Cool. You've already tapped your bird thing. I've tapped you, these you two. These two. Okay. Uh, yep. um, I'm going to do my two damage and push one. I'm okay. doing that here. So, what are so you? So, two damage destroys a house. We get a fear. We get a fear. I'm going to push this guy ugh, over here. Okay. Because uh, that's a land with no blight within one of a sanctuary. I have a sanctuary here. So, that's good. Okay. So, that pushes him out of the coastal city. Yep. Wait. Yeah. You can push him out of. So I do two damage and push one dude. Yeah, he pushes. I so destroyed that was his the house target. and then yeah. I pushed him okay. out of it. So it's not that it needs to be. Great. Um, and then I have See, a if you gatherer go down to ability. The little bit token. Um, What's up? Down I have a gatherer like, ability. Where you would go to so cheer. you can put them all in one area. Um, like if you click um, on the little bit icon down in the. They're going the to be ravaging box. mountains yeah. next um, turn. Where it says get bits. One of the options might so be, here would be a good idea. watch ad. If it's not grayed out. If it lets you click on it, it'll play an ad. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. The only thing that stinks is now I won't have energy for the next turn. But it's not bad. I'm going to... Uh, this is any land within one of me um, gather. I can theoretically. Well, during next turn, it should be different. But yeah, yeah. don't worry about it. The should be I'm just thinking if I if I reclaim my cards. Yeah. I can give you energy too. That's pretty good. Nec in the next. Deactivated. Because one of the cards that I have, I can target. I'm gonna and give you energy. suck two guys out of this land here. Okay. Zoop into this land here. Okay. Because uh, our huts don't like them. No. And then it's my go. I've used up all of yeah, my abilities. Yeah, you've done all your abilities. Okay, so do you have two any more other bird abilities? Here? Okay. All of these are bird abilities. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have my second fast. power up also. Ooh, ooh, what do you get? Only two of your cards are fast, Andy. One mm -hmm. of those was a turtle. Did he make no, you fast? No, he made me I fast. I made him fast. I made him fast. I used our lightning. Blue. Our lightning friend made Andrew's abilities fast. Um. Ah, okay. So, you know how my thing lets you duplicate something that costs one or less? Yeah. yeah. At second level, instead... You can duplicate anything with a power of three or less. Oh, very cool. So, yeah, <laughs> duplicate that one. That way she so, does it. Amanda, I'm giving my power to you. Yeah. Okay. Now that'll deal six. So now you can. You do it once. Yep. Do it twice. Then you do it again. So it's duplicate, not repeat. That was what Steve was saying. Um, it's repeat. That's repeat. repeat one power Lightning card. Spoon was two cards. Because Lightning's Boon... Yeah, target two cards. And he made the, the two slow cards. Yeah, these two slow cards. Because the other card was a... Was that's a bird. a bird. Yeah. So I had one bird, two turtles that became birds. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's what it was. All right, good. We're playing it right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry. Two fear. I already did that now. Bring on the war. Uh, another it, fear. Did I add the fear here? Yeah. All right, kill that city. Cool. And that's Does that another add another fear? fear? Yep. Uh, push uh, one. And if it goes into an area with... It's okay. It, I, I mean, fear. it's... There's a lot, and our camera is a lot better than it used to be, but, um, you know, you're just not going to... I need more range. Cool. That's the thing. I need more range. Well, expand on your next draw. Yeah. That's true. Although um, you're going to have to get your cards back. You, you just have to keep drawing stuff. Yeah, what can I do? All, All right. right, I'll push this over to here. And I'm going to use this ability to nuke this. Nice. Another fear. And, and now we can put a fear resets. card down. But we don't activate it. We don't it. activate it yet. And now we have a new win condition. Now we don't have to get rid of these guys. We just have we to, just get, have rid to get rid of these. the buildings. All We're the buildings. Closer. All, right. All right. All right. All right. Progress. All right, so now I can fire off my my. Uh, now, uh, yeah, my bird giant Let's start colossal. doing it. So okay. do it once. So I can within one range yep. of me. Yep. Um, I can do one damage, and if the target land is coastal, two damage. Yep. So you could do two so, damage here or there or here yep. or there. Well, yeah, here too, right? Yeah, because I'm right there. All right, where are okay. you going? Um, where do you guys think? Because I... They're I, not doing anything They're not going to do anything there for now. They will. Why are they not doing anything there? Because jungle's not they're on the jungle's not on there. The oh, they will ravage God, there. Yeah, they will. Um, Which just adds a blight. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah. Annoying. Very annoying. What I feel that? like... Well, this is getting That's defended, not doing right? So I'm not worried about that right yeah. now. I feel like this... Mm -hmm. They're going to build there, and they're going to ravage there. Yeah, I don't like that. What will you get to destroy more of, though? That's my question. Well, she's going to get to do this card a bunch of times. Right. So yeah. I'm going to be doing... If the land is coastal, I do two damage. Yeah, so do so two damage here. Do two damage here. Okay, so what are you going to destroy? Fear. Who should I do? They're going to be... Destroy the house, right? Yeah, you'll destroy the house. building yeah. and ravaging. Yeah, so I'll destroy that. Okay. That's one fear. And yeah, then I already. Uh, you do it again. And then I I use my power on you. Ah. Duplicate. So this gets knocked over. Yep. It's taken and two this damage. one's gone. Oh, okay. One damage to that, one, one damage, damage then to that. And then two more to that will kill that. Okay, so, so now this is now where, John, you gave her what ability? I gave her uh, Power Storm. So now, as long as you can pay for it, you can do it again. I can pay for it. So, yeah. Andy or John, can I get one back, please? Yep. And that's so the same more for these here. cards, too. You can do those cards when they come up. So they're going to, when turtle phase happens, they'll, I can pay to do them again. You just got to pay your cost now. That's the only thing. Thank you. What? I'm paying to do them again so that oh, they match the room. So. Yeah. So uh, it's, yeah. It's a very good combo. Yeah. yeah. Can you pay to do that yeah. thing one more time? It's uh, two uh, two more cards. So, so she's already doing it three times. So you can yeah. still destroy this, though. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. So that That's creates two, two more, more fear. fear. And now how many houses do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So that's the end of turtle phase. No, that's the end of bird phase. That's bird the end of phase. Bird I'm phase. sorry. The, yeah. End of now bird phase. Their turn. Their turn. So flip the fear. Fear. That was fun. Yeah, that it, was. It's still a, We're at it's level still a two. One. It's a level one still. Yeah. Okay. It'll be level two with this going forward. Yeah, because this okay. was. This is the last of the level one. Each fears. player may push one into the hut in from uh, the invader to. I'm All sorry, right. I can't Each player right. may push one hut from a land with uh, invaders or gather one hut into a land with invaders. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I can push this one here? Yeah. I'll do that. I feel like I want to push this into here. Uh, or would it get destroyed? It would get destroyed. Okay. What if I push it into... Here to help fortify if they That's expand fine. into it. That should be Because we don't know where they're going to explore. I'm going to push a hut over here. Okay. Uh, next, they ravage, I believe, right? 
Um, yes, it goes from this to this. Right, so, so Ravage. Uh, invaders damage the land and huts. Add uh, Blight if they damage land right, twice. So this coast is fine. This coast has this guy, Blight, here, but he gets attacked by this again and is killed. Yep. This one gets blighted. Yep, yeah. that gets blighted. Messing with our jungle. This no, one does not jerks. It was on top of the level one card. It was the last in the level one. Pile. Yeah, I just yeah. put this one over here. Yeah, yeah. it was the so last. Still... It was the last thing of. Yeah. Yeah, that's still technically, I guess. The, yeah, it was uh, the last yeah. level one card. Okay, uh, then these areas. This does nothing. This is cleared. It's still level two. Oh, cool. Oh, I ain't gonna okay. argue with you. So what does what it do? happens at level two? Level two. Each player chooses a different land. In, in the chosen so land, gather up to huts. two, yeah. then deal one damage if they are present. So, so that goes back into I deal there. the damage yeah. here, I guess. I gathered, or this there. was so here. What do we do? Yeah. So you're going to destroy this one, I think. No, I think this one was there. Oh, you're right. You're so you right. can do. So I gather it here and, and then deal there. two damage. And here. that's destroyed. But maybe that's not what I want to do. Oh. Let's go back. I'll put them back. Because I didn't know that's what was going to be happening. Yeah. Maybe I want to push your hut into, gather a hut into here and do two oh, damage there. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. More okay. fear, please. Yep, that's my move. Okay. And, and Amanda? I want to... I'm keeping where I put my guy. Okay. And just kill that guy flat out. Yeah. yeah. If I move one into here... You gotta choose a different land. He already oh, chose player it? Oh, you already chose that. Yeah. Okay. So... Ooh, where could I move one? Well, we could you kill this guy. Well, we could kill here. this guy. Or no. Because it, it, doesn't it need to be near where I am? It doesn't say that. Each player chooses a different land. Oh. Each player chooses a different land. You have made a huge mistake. Oh, hold oh on. was that again? That was was that towards Travis or towards us? <laughs> I mean, have I'm we certain made we've made mistake, a lot of mistakes. Or was the thousand bits a huge mistake? <laughs> Try not I could stand. see it be either way. This is a bit war. This a is a bit war. That, that was, was towards, towards Travis. Travis. Okay. 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 Right. Good. Just, just checking. Uh -oh. Great, great, could great. Have been uh oh. Us. Okay. All right. So, Amanda, you still haven't yeah. moved a hut. Yeah, we made still an have, error with still the blight. The blight <laughs> and the blight. Where was? What, where is it, it because there's a second blight here? We'll Does something happen when to... there's a second blight? I, oh, I it cascades. It goes anywhere around here. We choose where to go. Oh, okay. It's well, like definitely pandemic. not into Amanda's. So, so here? Sure. That'd be fair. Yeah. Like cascades, like pandemic outbreaks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That, uh, yeah. And another? Why another? Where did we miss? This one's not getting ravaged. It also goes in the jungle. Does it? Happen? Oh, so it's like the jungle gets one oh, and it spreads right. one into oh. a, a spot. That makes sense. I mean, they, the game There's has to have a mechanic that makes. They go like farther, yeah. move fast. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So Amanda, we're still we're I rewinding. Do have, I do oh, have right. a power that lets me remove blight stuff. So, um, but so John, you moved and killed. I, killed, I moved and killed. killed. I have not done yeah. it yet. You can move. If you can destroy buildings, that'd be really good. You can move this one back and destroy that yeah, one. Yeah, I could. That'd because be there was one already in yeah. here. Yeah. So that in theory, I'm moving a different one than Andy okay. moved. Kill. Fear. fear. I think fear is the way we're going to win this. Yeah, yeah we're, we're I mean, burning through. We could kill all the buildings, but it might be. We would tough. just have to kill these threes. Well, they're going to build more. Yeah. Yeah, they are. All right, so that is the end of the ravage phase. Now it's build. Still build. If invaders are present, add buildings. Build here. Uh, and this is in the mountains. Build here. Yeah. yeah. Build here. Oh, wrong one. Build here. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Nothing. nothing. All right, great. Yeah. Uh, then explore. Let's see where they go. Sand. It's always the sand. Oh, it's the sand. So, bam. Yes, there's yeah. no nope, buildings nope. adjacent. Oh, no, there is adjacent here. to here. Oh. There are two huts there. there. It's going to be fine. Here. What? Oh, what are you wrong, doing? wrong, wrong, wrong. Sorry. Here. Here. Yep. Yep. There. There. 
We already did here. Already did yep. there. Now we're not doing nothing. anything there. All right. Okay. 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 And now it turtles. Is the most common way to win. Yeah. Turtles. All right. I yeah. have no turtles. I don't Amanda. think he wants to take that back. All right. Nah. It is, uh, I think it's a way for him to take that back. We can't give him back. Uh, you can now use both of these twice. Right, because I, I already both paid for them twice. Yes. Yep. Wow. Because I have them for having. Yep. For and my card yep. helps. And, and I get to you do them a second for time. Doing them a second time. All right. Yeah. So. Any land within range one of one of my sanctuaries. So this is sanctuary. This is sanctuary. This that's, is sanctuary. This, oh, this that is one's a sanctuary. Not, this is a sanctuary. sanctuary. So um, yeah. any land within one of my sanctuary, um, if invaders are present, add a fear. And if target land is a sand or a wetland, I can remove a blight. So do you want wait, me to wait, put wait, two wait. in? So which land are you going to do it in? Well, first. I think um, I'm going to do this one. Okay. okay. So, you so we add one blight, fear. Right? And I'm going to be removing a blight. Okay. So put that blight in. Excellent. And that one over there. I don't get to remove a blight from that. Why not? Because it's, it's not, not a, a sand or a wetland. Or I only oh. get to do that in sands and wetlands. Okay. You, you should do it here, I guess, then, yeah? Yeah, the I don't idea. get to add the fear for that. But I do get to a remove a blight. I guess that works. And I would like to get rid of that blight. Okay. Okay. All right. So that has now happened. Twice, which is really awesome. Yep. And that definitely is going to trigger my um, ability there. Wash away. Now, um, anything within range one of me. Yeah. So anywhere I am, I can push up to three dudes or small towns. And you can do that twice. Twice. Right. So you could put them all in one area yeah. if you wanted to. What I got left in my hand? That's useless. Remember, you can always reclaim your cards. That's what yeah. I'm going to be doing next yeah. turn. Uh, all so right. I'm going to be reclaiming cards, gaining four... No. Yeah, gaining four... Are they going to be building energy. in the sands next? Uh, yes, yeah, sands progress? is going to build. Yeah, we oh. should progress the track. Well, that's at end of turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. thinking if they're going to be building in the sands, yeah. I probably want to move dudes. Like I, I need energy. <laughs> that's what I'm going to need. Yeah, I want to. I mean, I want to do something that keeps them from building or ravaging worse. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, it yeah. does. It so, does. what's the best way for me to accomplish we that? We want to stop them building because yeah. our new objective is destroy their buildings. Right. Their buildings are the main thing. Because we, now we don't we can kind of ignore these guys a little bit. Yeah, we just don't want them him. to build. You can't yeah, reach can't them. Reach them. Uh, can you push him out of the sands there? Yeah, I can push him out of the sands. Okay. So, I can push him, push him in there and he's going to get his, himself... Yeah, he'll off. punch and get yeah. there if he um, if he attacks. Yeah, and I can move up to three dudes and small They're towns. They're going to be ravaging in the mountains. Yes. Um, that's bad. So that's one. So now I do it a second time because okay. it's one land yeah. that I'm targeting. Yeah. Um, I can move these guys out of here. Okay. And put them where do you want them? Well, this has four huts. Yes. So I feel like if I move these guys in here. They're just going to get swamped by. But cuts. it's going they, to still they'll ravage. They'll uh, oh, the land, three of them. which yeah. will destroy some of our stuff in there. Um, can yeah, you push these like guys that. out of here? Yeah, I can. Push two push of them over here. Them. The jungle would be good. How many can you push? Three. Up to three. Yeah, push them into the jungle. Push them into the jungle. All three of them? Yeah. yeah. Does that blight? It will, they're not it will attacking jungle. Them, they're, oh, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're ravaging. They're ravaging mountains and building in sand. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Go so, hike through the jungle, my let's dudes. Let's push them around. So let's um, move those down. So that's you did that. Yep. And now my special ability goes off, and my special ability goes off at its level two. So I can do within range one of any of my sanctuaries, I can do two damage and push three more dudes. Oh, mm. you could kill like this or this. Yeah. Where are you feeling? Or you could kill it over here. I could kill I think that we over wanna, here. I feel can we like kill these two, or we can push those dudes out and destroy a building. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that. So destroy so a building. Cause destroy a fear. building. And push these dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Into the jungle. That's a good move. Yeah. 
All right. All right, we're doing stuff. Go team. All right, time passes. <laughs> time passes. So now these go down. Bits would flag our attention, aside from the fact that we were trying to yeah, kill a whole yeah, bunch of dudes. Stuff. And if I had stopped paying attention to that, I would have totally lost track of what I was doing. Yeah. All right. So now, growth phase. All right. I have to do this one. I have to I get my hand back. Getting energy. Yeah, I need my hand back. So and I'm not going to be doing to much this turn. Expand. Or I could gain one of my two. minor power cards. I'll move here. Pull beneath the hungry earth. I'm going to expand into this area here. Okay. I got to tell you guys, Pulled Beneath the Hungry Earth is a nice card. No doubt. I haven't, Actually, I haven't gained it I yet, but I need to decide to if here. I want to. Two I think I'll do that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my hand back, so I'm going to do... All right. I get my hand... Oh, well, I'm I got get, some bad news, guys. Uh -oh. I got no hand. That's uh -oh. not good, man. I dropped my card also. You're not going to be able to speed us up then, Such huh? No, nope. I need to rely wow. on you guys. Okay. Whoa. This a is lot getting bits, pretty good. A lot of bits today. Guys. Oh, so I got Thank my hand so back. Much. I got my card. I, I gained a minor power. Awesome. I get one energy. Mm -hmm. Was it a major power or was it a minor power? It was a minor power. Okay. My major Powers power is crazy next. Back okay. May I have one energy, please? There you go. Okay. Oh, we're now gaining may I energy. Have three I gained energy, four please. energy. I'm going to be relying <laughs> on you guys this turn. May I have three energy, please? Yeah. Here. Thank you. All right. Um, so I. Ba -ba 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 -bum, ba -bum. This back. If Andy's playing a bunch of cards, target him with the energy recovery thing because I'm only playing one card this turn. Okay, all right, sure. So. Um, I can cast up to three. Okay. <laughs> I feel so defeated. All right, this is going to you know, be not as exciting as the last turn. You can also add trash talk to your bits <laughs> um, by doing this. I have and to play one, so I'll play Bloodshed. I only have one bit, so... And it's a turtle ability, so I can't do it even. It stinks. <laughs> All right, so I have four I energy to spend right now. Um, I need to recover a lot of stuff. Can you guys make five fear? Oh, good question. This is so gone. you can add text yeah. after your bits. If you guys can produce fear this turn, we'll still stay, stay on the right track. And um, you get to do trash talk. All right, so what? They're going to be ravaging in <laughs> mountains and building I mean, in it, sand. Honestly. So here's a major thing, because this is going to add blight. You can use it and to trash talk stuff. to Travis. Uh, I defend there. Oh, right. You have the, the plus three, right? Yeah. So you're good. I defend three in any place that I have a sanctuary. If you need to talk to us. Uh, like address so this is defended us. three. This is defended three. This is defended three. That's not. That's not. Yeah, and that's my big concern. I'm going to lose that, uh, that presence if I don't do something there. Okay. I wish I could help. I really do. So I think the invaders are going to skip all actions. That's at bird speed, so that's good. Spending three for that. And where are you going to put it here? I'm going to put it there. All right, can I get a marker? Right. I think I know what three I'm playing. Sure. Just so we remember. Yeah. And it's going to cost me three energy Okay. to play them. So here's what I'm playing, guys. Two speeds. Yep. I am playing Boon of Vigor okay. at bird speed. Um, I'm going to... Probably target Andy if he's playing more cards. Are you playing more cards, Andy? I'm going to play one more card, yeah. I'm going to pay okay. one energy, and I'm going to be doing that. Okay, so you're going to gain two energy when this goes off. Um, and then I'm going to... I paid two for Flash Floods. Oh, cool. Um, so within one of me... Uh, one damage, and if the target land is coastal, two damage. Okay. I do like flash floods. It's a good card. So do you really pay two card. for that? What's going on in the? I did my, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the war. Yeah. Wow, this has been a good stream. It has yeah. been a good. We got stream. a great audience. Yeah. Um, and you? then at turtle yeah. power, I have pull beneath the hungry earth. Oh, that's a good card. Which uh, within range one of me, if target land has my. Thing. So it's like within one range of me, so I could do it like here. Yeah. Um, if it has my token, uh, I add a fear and a damage. 
if the target land is a sand or a wetland, an additional damage. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. My only card I have is Call to Bloodshed, so I can deal one damage per house Basically in my it's range. A, um, or I can gather up to three buildings. It's a sinkhole. But it's a, it's a turtle, and I can't speed it up this turn. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I've got one turtle ability as well. All, all right, right, so. And this, one, this is also going to trigger. trigger did you pay for all the cards you yep, cast? I sure did. Right, it cost me so three, and I gave you three energy. Who's awesome. got birds? I have a bird, and she has a bird. All right, do your birds. Whatever you order you need grounds. to. You kind of do. All right, so. I'm using this <laughs> to have <laughs> them skip all actions. It is. You are a wonderful Do you get your power off of this turn or no? I do not. Okay. Nope. I get mine, I but any. it's oh, at no, turtle I do. speed. I, no, I only have one green. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, no. Nope. Um, mine does fire off, all and right. it fires off at tier two. So. But you do get both of your cards that are birds. Yes, that's I do get both speed. of my cards that are turtle, that are birds. Right, so let's so, do your bird cards. Um. I can either give Andy two energy, or I can get hey. one energy. Would you like uh, two energy, Andy? Yeah, you're, I'm going to need energy, energy next turn. Then give yourself two energy. Okay. So that's that card fired. Actually, hang on a second. I do not need energy next turn. I'm the only one, I think, but I only get one. Yeah. Can you get yourself three energy? Yeah. No, I get one energy. If, if, I, if I target myself... Mm -hmm. All right, I will... Anything plastic is bad, anything else. Gladly. Plastic? That's very true, and I do appreciate that in that. I <laughs> didn't notice that. Yeah, because these That's are cool. wooden tokens. Yeah. And these and the are mushrooms wood. Are wood. Yeah. So the natural things are good. And the light and bad. this yeah. is paper pulp, which is yeah. wood. Which is wood. Yeah. Um I would like energy. I do like that. Thank you for mentioning mm -hmm. that. Why don't you give one energy to John? Sawyer. We Sawyer? we still we still need to have our have Sawyer's revenge. We definitely uh, gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so can I get an energy? Yes, please take an energy. Thank you. Um, so that fires that off, and now I'm going to target a land and do one damage. And if target land is coastal, plus one damage. Um, so you can destroy a town in either of these two. Yeah, I could. Um, they're going to be they're building, building there. there, so I feel like... Oh, no, like they're not building there, because there's no dudes there. It's just... It, don't they build where there's an, a dude... If invaders are fish. present, it says? Do the houses count as invaders? Yes. Yeah, I guess they're invaders, yeah, not so explorers. Like, they're all yeah. invaders. Yeah. So, yeah, I would destroy there. Yeah, and then it, it'll pop back up. But, but you will get a fear. fear. Yeah. So you're so, doing two damage. Two damage to that. Fear. You get a fear. Um, so yeah. And now we and have turtles. And a fear, um, because I'm in it. Okay. So that's turtle, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong card. No, it's cool. All right. Yes. So, so that fires off. Unfortunately, now their turn goes. Yeah, annoying. All right. So first off, we don't have a power or anything nope, like that. No, because we didn't generate enough fear that time. Next, they're going to ravage. Yeah, we'll figure so it out. So they're ravaging they where? Like ravaging in the mountains. Thing, These guys do not nothing like because I'm blocking it. Okay. There's nobody there, nobody there. We'll figure out a time. These guys are going to ravage, but I'm defending three. Okay. So how much do they ravage? One. Oh. So they don't do any blight, and you can retaliate with right. this if you want. But it'll, I, they do two damage back? Oh, yeah. The retaliation do, uh, is one damage. damage. There's just one damage. Let me check to make sure how much the building does the hearts. So As they does two damage. So they punch one of the buildings, yeah. and the building punches back and destroys the town. Nice. Fear. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice, right. nice. Okay, so nothing here. Nothing here. They're going to ravage there. Sorry, Amanda. So, yeah, Amanda, unfortunately, this is gone. Yeah. That's really sad, guys. There's blight there. It wasn't a sanctuary. So. No, it wasn't. So it was it's, just it's, a way for me to get to other places. Yeah, and you've already made that You can jump. go back. The only thing is you just can't get this token back. Yeah. That's all. And yeah. is there anywhere else they're ravaging? Uh, we did there, 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 there. Nope, we're good. All right, next they build. So. Yep, they're building in the sand. There. Yep. There. There. The huts fight back for six? Oh! What? 
Bye. What? Because there's three huts there's there. There's three huts. They always react. Wow. Yeah, Pax is soon. You know what? And there. not there. Oh, no, no. There's no guy there. There's no guy there. Um, there's no guy there. All right. Exploring. And, and just say Sawyer okay. at each other. In fact, there are five cards Steve, left I after that. I plan on spending much of Pax shouting Sawyer at Water. across the aisle. So that's wetlands. Just so you're yeah, warm. wetlands. So boom. Yep. Just so chat knows, in joke, um, some time ago, Did you just Steve put two guys there? joined us. No, I put one play, here. One was already uh, here, I think. Um, no, you put two guys shots. there. There's one there and one there. a game about fighting forest fires. And Steve played the role yeah. of Sawyer the That's Sawyer. It. Who, uh, okay. each of the characters Turtles. has a different um, um, Explore, ability. advance the and invader cards. all Sawyer said, Sawyer. Sawyer. And it was very it's in the YouTube empowering. Um, it, it, was, it definitely right. gave me a lot of... No. Um, it rallied me. Do you mind if I mine goes it. off first? So yeah, we'll we'll just shout Sawyer sure, at each ahead. other to I'll rally each this. other and get each other pumped okay. up for packs. We got another fear. Is that another fear? Yep. All right. I am so in a place with no blight, within one of a sanctuary. Yep. So here's I'm we didn't doing, lose that game. Uh, two damage and pushing one. That's very sad. Oh, you um, could do this one, right? We uh, uh, we lost that yes. game. Yes. Tom Sawyer, uh, more Grins, Maskin. No, so it was a uh, it was a game called. Um, so I have we have to shots. destroy this. Sawyer is a like a. a Otherwise, she's gonna lose the sanctuary. Like oh yeah, we don't want that. Saw, would. Um, uh, here I'm okay. That was all he here said. Here we're okay. He was, he was a man of priority. few words, we have to get rid but of that. yeah, much strength. Okay. Uh, we lost the um, game. Your turtle powers go off. It was my fault, but I I definitely felt. Um, it's a good game. Stronger, and we now we need to get Sawyer's revenge. We, oh, we need wow. our revenge on the game, and we need to do Sawyer's revenge. But we need to get Steve back to do it. Chainsaw man. Yeah, the Sawyer has a chainsaw. Cool. Uh, he he actually can turn other dice into chainsaw dice. Sawyer. It's a cool game if nice. you haven't played it. Uh, um, so you maybe we'll get you your... to join us for Sawyer's revenge. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, you so, got uh, turtles. Yes, I do have turtles. I have two turtles to do. I am going to pull beneath the hungry earth. Really? Um, if target land has my token, I can add a fear and a damage. And if okay. it's a sand or a wetland, I add another damage to it. Oh, so... Yeah. Can you do that to this? Uh, yeah, I sure can. Can we have taken that turn back real quick? That way this stands and this one's on its like last legs. Sure. And then you just That's kill cool. that. Yeah, let's, let's kill that. Let's reset it. Yeah. Fear card. Well, that doesn't activate until their next oh, turn, right? Oh, right, right, right. What happens if there's two fear cards if we do enough fear? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> That's a good question. We'll figure it out. All right. Not for Thank me. You. This game, uh, yeah, this game is Spirit Island. Very awesome. fun. And uh, Hot Shots, which was the firefighting game that we were talking about, is also a really cool game. It's one of those games where I we lost... And yet I still had a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, like, we lost. It's a cooperative game. We lost the game, and I feel like I need to go back and get my revenge. So, <laughs> Sawyer's yeah. Revenge. That's pretty fun. Which, in this case, they would bo we get both. Which, in this case, they would be at stage for it three, so... Would they? No, No, because there's one more there's card. There's one more card yeah. after that. If we were able to get, like, three fear cards stacked, then yeah. That yeah. would be amazing. That would be amazing, and we would definitely deserve stage I can three rush point. through fear if I get my hand back. Okay. Yeah. But I need energy. That's um, my one so downfall. I have no energy spawn. I did that. Yep. And... That fires off my tier two ability. Okay. So I can do two damage to a land within one of my sanctuaries. Oh. And push up to three dudes or small towns. So you can just flat out kill yeah, that guy. Yeah, just kill that thing. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do it. Down one it goes. Um, and I get to push up to three dudes or small towns. Um, All right, so thinking but ahead. But it would be this land. Oh, and we've already okay. done it. All right. Okay. So, cool. like, if there had been dudes, I could have. No, that's fair. Gotten out of this there. guy's gonna ravage. On my turn, but it's not gonna do anything. Okay. Because yeah. That's yeah. Right. There's only one guy. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hey. So, 
Yeah, welcome. Was it Mord Brands Maskin? Maskin. Maskin? Yeah. Welcome. We're playing Spirit Island, which it's is a, a game about fun. spirits trying to drive invaders out of their sacred lands. It's kind of like Anti Catan. It's a lot like. like yeah. And it's it's awesome. It's yeah, a cooperative it's a game. game. I'm all about cooperative games. Guys, there aren't that many buildings. All right, so for no. my um, growth this turn, wow. I'm going to gain two Six. energy and add a presence. So Can I gain two, two energy. Okay, what's my growth going to be? I all have right. most of my hands. Uh, I have to regroup. So. And I'm going to add a presence here, okay. which means that territory is defended now. Energy. I get a minor power. All right. I'm actually going to use my third growth ability, uh -huh. which lets me add two presence to any one land. What? Or no, add a presence within a two within range two. of land. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to... Can you... One, two... Yeah, I can't get to can't that get wetland. To here. Uh, oh, you can get here, though. Okay. Yeah, I can. And if I add one there, there, yeah, I can. Yeah, that'd be good. And I'm going to take it out of this which gets me the reclaim, reclaim a card. A That's so good. So do, do I do that when I play cards? I get to take one out of my uh, When you get your energy from here and that, you'll get the card. I reclaim. So good. Yeah. So good. John, did you already um, choose your option? I already chose my option. I got my hand back. back. I gain a power card. So and I'm gaining, one one guys, a major power card. So Ooh, you have to now so you have to discard. get rid of one card. So the major power card I'm John, is that one from her hand? Is uh, yes. Or discard. It can be rot. actually... It can be from either your hand or discard pile. Excellent. And it's just gone forever. So it's Accelerated okay. Rot. It's a four cost turtle card um, at range two away from me, or up to two away from me, targeting jungles or wetlands. I add two fear and do four damage. Yeah. That's really If good. I have three yellow, two blue, and three green, in my pool at the time, plus five damage and remove a blight. Seven damage. No, no. Plus five damage. Well, five damage plus, plus the two. Plus four. Oh, plus four. It's two fear. Oh, and four damage. And four damage. That's Nine a really damage. good card. Plus five damage and remove a blight. Wow. So, yeah, that's wow. a great card. So, what are you going to get rid of? So I am going to get rid of Wash Away, and the reason I'm going to get rid of that is because it's a one-cost turtle. Yeah. Um, it gives me a blue, but this also gives me a blue, and it's a push Thank three dudes. Thank you for dudes. the follow, Morton Smith. Woo! Thank you. Welcome. Uh, uh, if you want, I might give you the it speed. It be that card if I don't want it. I feel like you've scaled well enough that you want some speed. <laughs> I probably do. You probably um, want some speed. Wash away, it lets me push up to three dudes or small towns, but okay. I'm consistently getting my yeah. ability, yeah. which does the same thing plus damage. So I'm going to lose that. Okay. Hot Here, shots are this. Here's my question. Yes. Can we destroy these six buildings this turn? I mean, Amanda, if she fires that thing oh, yeah. and does so nine damage. The thing is, I only have four energy right now because I no. didn't gain. Oh, no, I haven't got my energy for turn. Yeah. No. So let's get energy for turn. Yeah. Okay. I get six energy now. I, I get, get three. two, and you get three. All right. So now you have seven energy. Let's strategize on trying to, I think, kill the building as fast yeah. as possible. See if we can win. Oh, and I reclaim yeah. a card because I got my energy, yeah, 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 so yeah. I get to reclaim, reclaim. a card. Okay, so I have access to five energy, which means I can play pretty much five cards. I'm going to be playing three cards this turn. All right, guys, which do I get? Oh, I'm going to get pulled beneath the Hungry Earth back. Sounds good. I'm going to be um, doing it, okay. it goes cards. at turtle speed, but I don't care. All right, so, so I'm going to give you speed. Excellent, this turn. okay. So I feel like I need to do that. One. That. I want to deal damage this, this turn. This is going to be a big and turn. That, we might win this turn. We could. Which we is might terrifying. win this turn. Four, five, six. Yep, zero. I'm going to be playing these three guys and pay three. six. Oh. Um, I'm doing Pull Beneath the Hungry Earth, Accelerated Rot, and Uncanny Melting. 
So they're ravaging in sand and building in wetlands this yes. turn. So, so these guys are going to ravage. Here's what I'm going to... That guy's going to kill himself by ravaging. Yeah. Guys, here's do I want to do Uncanny Melting or Nature's Resilience? Uncanny Melting adds fear. Well, here's... Um, nature's Resilience defends. Here's the strategy I'm going for this turn. Okay. I'm going to at least destroy this building over here by pushing these two over. Okay. And then popping it with uh, Call of the Bloodshed. So that's one. I'm already that's speeding right. you up by two. And okay, then I can these two I think are gonna move fast. And then I can play this card for another two, which is going to destroy this building. So that's two buildings I can get rid of. And is Amanda yeah. gonna be able to clear that space? If you can clear that space, that'd be amazing. I'm not gonna get the bonus on this guys. No? Because there's no way I can get three or I could get three three yellow. No, I don't have the green for it. Did just not in the symbols? Yeah. If you had kept that, would that have changed it? Hmm? If you had kept that, would that have changed it? Oh, the other the uh, other card. No, because that was just one blue. Okay. It's not blue that's the problem, because I only need two blue. That is two blue. All right. It's three yellow and three green, and I don't have three green symbols among the cards that I... Like, okay. among my... Like, I would have to get this. Hmm. Hmm. What about you, Andy? What's your plan? Yeah, because it was uncanny melting that I pulled back out of my discard pile. Maybe I should have pulled. If you want to take it back, I'm fine. With so it. Do yeah, I you know what? I'm gonna put uncanny melting back in there and do Go for this. That. Okay. Um, because boon of vigor gives me green. All right. So you play Boon of Vigor? So here's the thing. If I'm doing Accelerated Rot, that's yep, four. That's four. I paid six, so let's... Two over here. Got it. Do you want me to... I'll just hold on to it. Yeah, just hold on to it. Um, so, and I can play three cards. Yep. No, I can't do it. No? I can't, because I need to play these two to get the three green, yep. and that only gives me two yellow. The only other yellow I have doesn't have a green. Oh. So I'd have to replace one of these because I can only play three cards. Okay. Yeah. So I can't do it. All right. But I do, I mean, I get the four damage. Yes. Okay. So. You'll be able yeah. to kill one of these. Which I'm going to clear yeah. that so land. accelerated rods. Oh, you're going to clear it? Yeah. Pull beneath okay, the hungry earth. Because I'm going to be, and I, I, I'm sorry, I can't use my innate ability to duplicate one of your things. Things. I'll swap that back out. But uncanny I'm going to be. Helpful. Oh, is this at the right speed? Is the question. That's a good question. Oh, can you speed me? I sped her already. Oh, okay. Do you? Yeah. Sorry. Because yeah. this is turtle speed. So do you still want me to pay this, this is energy? Turtle speed. This so is yes, turtles. yeah, because I ended up spending six. All right, so only two of these turtles are going to be fast. Hmm. We're very close. The fear card that I have? Fear card. Was so I'm going to be paying one for that, paying one for that, and paying three for that. Does that give you your ability? No, it no. does not. No yellow. All right. Oh, no, it does. It does. Oh, because great. Because that's got yellow. Okay, who are you, good. Who are you doing it on? Uh, Amanda. Yes. I'm going to let you duplicate something that costs one or less, right? Yeah. Or, yep. John, are you doing anything that does damage? Uh, I'm basically focusing on destroying buildings. It's got to be five, like three in the morning in Sweden. Oh, my God. Welcome from that, Sweden. Up late. Watching three, gaming. Is, are you five hours ahead of us right now? Maybe we're on the east coast U.S. Yeah. Yeah, Eastern so. time. Um, uh, so what so am I? What are Amanda, we doing? What are we doing? Flames. Actually, John. Yes. What's up? We want to destroy no. this building. I, I can destroy that building. Yeah. We okay. got one, two, three, four, five, six buildings left. I'm okay. destroying this one and this one. Okay. That's as much as I can do for now. I so, think. So. Accelerated Rot lets me do four damage. Where are they building? They're building in on wetlands. wetlands. Oh, man. That's there, that's there, that's there, that's there, that's there. We're that's not, why I was focusing on... We're not winning this turn. turn. Should we okay. focus then on generating fear? Well, should we flip this fear card yet? Or should we wait on that? 
probably wait until the fear effect. Yeah. Um. um would power now? I'm going to be adding two fear to the fear pool. Okay. I'm going to be doing. So we're in bird phase now, right? All right, in bird phase. Okay. I choose one player. That player can repeat one power card. Which of you two wants to repeat? I'll repeat I so I can enough, give you speed. I don't have enough energy to oh, repeat. But this. it speeds only two cards. Two cards. So pick your two. Does that sound good? Yes. That sounds lovely. Great. Uh, actually, I may change my. No, I can't change my loadout. I'm good. All right. Okay. Exactly. 3 a.m. is one of my favorite hours. <laughs> so that's a good ability for this card because this makes all of your stuff go fast. All right. So you. Speed. Duplicate. Yeah. Speed. speed. We're speeding these two cards. All right. What are your two cards going to do? All right. So I'm going to gather three. Um, or actually, I'm going to push three from here to here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to do two damage plus three damage and add uh, two fear. Because it has two. So you deal five damage? Five yeah. damage. Kills these those. two. Yep. So that's three fear. Three fear plus two fear. Oh, if you can, yeah, I think we win. I think I can do it. Okay. So. Uh, so that's my bird phase okay. done. Okay. I'm accelerating the. I'm doing these two as yeah. my fast cards this turn because you sped me up. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Um. So. I get to target a jungle or wetland within two distance of me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target that. Okay. Um. And do four damage and add two fear to the fear pile, please. Four damage, so... Yep. Um, this is I'm, I'm one, also going to be doing three, this. Oh, great. And that deals another damage. So... That's dead. That's dead. Three, Adding that's two fear. Add two fear. Put that down, sure. Yep. Um, and then this card, if uh, target land has my symbol on it... Oh, it's not my... Mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. I don't have a symbol on... This oh, one. Uh, ah. oh. Yeah. And one damage. Yeah, I'm damage. not in that space. Oh. Shit. So target a different land? See. Yeah, I would have to target another a different land with this one that I'm in. Darn, we were so close. We were so close. I might be able to do something on my turn. Don't don't lose hope. Okay, alright. Oh no, I think we win. Oh. I, I do you mind if I do my thing, I guess? Let me just, let, can I fire yeah, this fire off? Try to see if that works. Um, so I'm going to do one damage and add a fear to the fear pile. Okay, one damage, add a fear. Where are you doing your damage? Um, Somewhere with I mean, if reason. I'm in here. Yeah. I yeah. can sure. kill him off. Yeah. Why not, right? Yep. And uh, um, it would do an additional damage if it was a wetland. Okay. Yeah, because this was a jungle, so yeah. I don't get to do the damage for this, and I don't have a token in there. So, so do Moon is done. Here, so. Can I see okay. the card? All right, so if a target land has your one thing, I do one fear and one damage. If the target land is a swamp or wet or sand or wetland, mm -hmm. deal one damage. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, I oh. still have a damage from the... I did one damage from the first card. But yeah, this so one's on here, so it moves down. Yeah, it's right. it's tipped over. So we okay. win. Give me one second. John, this right here. How do we win? So okay, so how here. do we do this? Starting oh. off, uh, shattered homestead. Yes. Uh, two oh, range. No, destroy that this. Turtle speed. Okay, they get a fear. They get a fear. Uh, oh, harbingers of lightning. <laughs> Push two. Hey, uh, get a fear. It didn't okay. ping at us again. Call of bloodshed. Oh, one okay. damage per hut. Destroy this. Out of fear. Okay. And my ability to destroy a building. Did we just win? We, we just did! Won. There are no Yay! buildings on the land. Woo! We throws them out! Uh, <laughs> woo! Shall we find out what their fear effect yeah, would have been? Yeah, let's see what let's we would be doing done. to them. If they had moved to their turn now... Level two uh, fear effects. Each player chooses a different land with a hut and does one damage per 
hot there. Yep. Oh. Okay. So let's just let's just do this. Yeah. Okay. See. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. And just kill those guys. I'll choose this one and kill these two guys. Okay. Uh, you guys picked up a good one. No, there's yeah, one yeah. over there. Well, there's there's one like right here. I'll kill. Yeah. This guy. Let's kill that guy. Okay. What's the other one? What's the other? Effect? Each player may push up to three dudes. Um, or buildings, small buildings, from an inland land. Oh my god, that was a lot of fun. Yeah! That was I'm very fantastic. happy that, that worked Man, out. That was I mean, it was nerve-wracking, because yeah. if they had gotten to their turn, there would have been buildings oh, here, so here, 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 been. here, here, here. Wow. Me giving you the speed really saved that us in that last That helped a lot. Time. Yes, yeah. it did. Duplicate and being yes, able to duplicate the speed yeah. was just amazing, because it moved my cards fast enough. Yeah. That I was able to get that damage done. Not Wind, being able to get that earth, extra damage was really annoying. And water. Yeah. Woo! By our powers combined. Oh, we man. Rocked this game. So, John, thank you so much for yeah. bringing this. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad we this finally got a chance to play it. I am too. I'm glad the audience seemed to like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's really cool. And that's just the basic game. Yeah. That's the basic game. There are scenarios, uh, a campaign this, mode. And expansions that actually it and is I a mean, Kickstarter that's, game. That's like the easy mode learn yes. to play yeah. game. There, there is a lot of stuff we could change. These are the base, very easy characters. Uh, yep. There are eight in the box. Do you want me to just show off photos? Sure, yeah, I would sure. love to see the other powers. Right, right. So, the other uh, spirits. Uh, the other spirits we had, if we had a fourth player, we were going to play with um, Liquors Like Flame. Mm. He is a fire based spirit. He's a little more difficult. He's all about making fear. Uh, so, let me bring up Dark yeah, Cam, yeah. and we'll, uh, sure, we'll show them you. off here. And we're getting more bits. Man. Oh, my God. They're, they're, they're loving Tonight us. Tonight has just been fantastic. There we go. So Bada. this is Flicker's Shadows like, yeah. Flicker Like Flame. His thing is he like comes out of huts because the villagers are lighting fires. Okay. And he consumes oh, everything. Oh, nice. Uh, next one, I guess we can go with, uh, what's his name? Spread of Rampant Green. A spread of one. Rampant Green. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, we got the Thunder Speaker. Ooh, she looks fancy. She's about control. She's Thunder very cool. Thunder Speaker. Uh, I believe you were excited for this one. The Ocean. Ocean's Hungry Grass. Ocean's Hungry Grass. Yeah. And the one I'm pretty excited about, he looks very cool, and I like Fear. Fear is my favorite thing about uh -huh. the game. Because I love that it can make the game go so much better. Uh, bringer of Dreams and Nightmares. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. Mm. That sounds good. And I don't good. know if they ever got to see the pictures of our... our they oh, had yeah. the camera I, on your well, guy. Well, I mean, they were on camera, but they were small. Yeah, so th that was so my this character. this is Lightning Swift Strike. Yep. Lightning Swift Strike, which was John's character. Yep. And Amanda was River Surges in Sunlight. Oh, my God. That so, was a lot of man, fun. The bits just keep coming. <laughs> it's a celebration. <laughs> this, is our, this is our first time playing, playing. this game. Uh, John has played it uh, some solo Twice games. Twice solo, did not win. Um, so this is, but Andy and I have not played before. And there were four cards in our starting hand. Four cards in starting okay. hand. You'll be able to tell what's what because of the uh, the, the backs. corners and the backs. Yeah. yeah. So just separate minor from major, and yeah. I'll try to set up the decks and whatnot. But yeah. Uh, what came in uh, Tooth and Claw? Tooth and Claw brought in a few things. So Tooth and Claw is the expansion. It adds a few things. Do the uh, mushrooms or branch go and claw? To the Sorry, branch and claw. Uh, yeah, they can. It's all good. The branch that. and claw expansion. Oh man, I'm look put them at in the these pretty tokens. Yep, those look are those. disease, wild animals, wild plants, just stuff to help. And it also comes with, what, nuts and berries? These look like rocks or something? I'm or? not sure of those. I've just got the expansion today. So yeah, I'm not you haven't even had a chance to look at the instructions. There are two new um, characters you yep. can pick. So Keeper of the Forbidden Wilds. Ooh. Ooh. Like that for now. That's Pretty. And Sharp I Fangs Behind the level. Leaves. Yes, oh, you are a panther cool. god. Black Panther? <laughs> oh, man. That's so Oh, cool. man. All right. But yeah, so it also adds um, <laughs> more cards to play with in the main, yeah. major and minor powers. Yeah, it would be a, sh mm -hmm. it would be a uh, shame. A lot of stuff. What? What's up? It would be a shame if someone were to were to mess with that. Mess with what? 
the bit the total bit totals. Right now. Oh my god! <laughs> Fifteen hundred bits from from Steve, and it's such a, a nice round number. Number. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so the fears are random, right? Yes, fears are random. Uh, the health, uh, the blights can be randomized. Pretty much, a lot of factors can be changed. And like I said, you can even have um, certain enemies, like the French could invade, or it's like, <laughs> uh, or it's like um, the Germans. It's based on like different invaders, so they have different powers. Gotcha. And there's scenarios, which is a lot of fun. And that sounds awesome. Yeah. Level one, level two, level and three, level three, which we just barely mid dodged, if I remember right. Well, it doesn't make a difference in the learn to play game. Not really. But in the the higher games, oh, yeah. yeah, there's bad Sweden, stuff. England, oh, and Prussia. Oh God. So and there guys, are scenarios. check out the level three cards. If we had hit the the <gasps> level three, they would have yeah. been. <laughs> I forgot uh, to mention invading that. Invading in both wetlands and mountains. Wetlands no. and sand. No. Mountains yeah. and no. sand. Man, that's bad. Oof. I'm glad we didn't hit level three. Me so too. the game accelerates as you get towards the oh end. Oh my goodness, yes. Whether you're losing all your blight or whatever, it just starts going crazy. Oh, yeah. oh man. Uh, can I just bring up one thing? Yeah. This game reminds me so much of classic magic. Like the artwork, the design, yeah, the, the artwork order. and everything yeah. is very. I don't know if they ever got to see these. MTG. What are these? These are just uh, some more the, major the power, power cards. cards. Yeah. So these are the cards we were using as can we were I playing. Can I see the the ocean god? And you can oh, see this is what ocean John is talking spirit. about. With the, oh, they're the right here. Never mind. I love and just the names of the abilities. They're just so the cool. The is so good. Uh, oh, here are his game cards. Is gorgeous. He's pretty much all water. I'm okay with that. Whereas mm. yours was like sun and water. Yeah, it had like wetlands and stuff. Well, this was An spectacular. Experience. Yeah. I, and I, I'm so happy we won. How often when we play <laughs> co-op <laughs> games. games do we actually win <laughs> the first on. try? Oh my <laughs> not often. That, okay. that definitely made me want to play more, though. <laughs> uh, maybe on I another day. I love the ocean. Yeah. Um, oh my god! So what does it do, Amanda? Okay. So the growth options, let's start with growth options. Yeah. Your first option is reclaim your cards, gain a power card, gather a presence into each ocean. So you're literally covering yeah. these areas. Pulling myself into the ocean and gain two energy. That's all one That growth. is one, one growth. growth. Man. The, uh, the second option is... Add a presence into any ocean, so add, not gather. So it seems like... Add a presence into any other ocean and gain an energy. Okay. Okay. The next growth is gain a power card. Yep. Plus one presence to a coastal area. Mm -hmm. Oh. And within one distance, add presence to a coastal land. And push one presence... From each ocean. So, so you push your presences in. in the tide goes out. Oh. The tide comes in. That That's sounds very like so, so much those are the fun. growth options. It's so good. <laughs> um, so I have to explain. I grew up literally a block and a half from a beach. That's really cool. Um, a block and a half from the coast in Massachusetts. Of course. And the ocean was always Wire. like a major thing oh, we're just for my off mother. Oh, okay. Um, and myself. And being in salt water is like rejuvenating for me. Like I have to dip my feet into salt water at least once uh, every summer. Because These are extra fear Otherwise, cards my mood just tanks for the rest of the year. And some options. The um, core game comes with two healthy island cards, sea, which lead to bad um, things depending on light effects. I just the oh, can ocean show is the board actually the modular board. Oh, yeah, emotionally yeah. and mentally, so, it's just a big deal to me. Let's clear this um, stuff out of so the way a little bit. The idea that this is like. I based oh, oh it's so good Ooh. um so my presence when i uncover them the card yeah. stuff is just a straight progression it goes like one two two three four five that's pretty good but presence when it comes to energy i don't gain energy each turn to start with but when i uncover the first energy presence i instead gain a moon token like a moon oh, oh, okay, towards yeah. my, my abilities. abilities at the bottom. 
And then the next one I gain a water. That's very thematic. And then the next one I gain one energy. And the next one I gain an earth. And the next one I gain a water. And the next one I gain two energy. John, we are 100% going to have to play this it, with you. It is a very thematic game. I like that they <laughs> balance everything because no matter what, you're still only get. Hours. It's very cool. Um, special you. rules. Ocean in play. You may place and move to uh, presence tokens in the oceans, but you may not place or move tokens into inland lands. So I can play coastal and oceans, but no, no inland. Okay. Um, oceans on boards with any of your tokens are treated as coastal wetlands for powers and blight. You drown any invaders or huts moved into those oceans. Oh my god, that's so... F oh. Drowning. <laughs> that's such a cheery way to talk about drowning. Um, so destroy... getting to the sea is actually a thing with yes. this. Destroy drowned pieces. Placing drowned invaders here. At any time, you may exchange X health of these invaders for one energy, where X equals oh, number of players. So that's how they balance you, only getting like zero energy each yeah. turn. Yeah. Oh, um, wow. Let me do the innate powers, and then I'll flip over the board. Could I see Nightmare? Oh, yeah. Nightmare is the one I'm most excited for. Is that? that that's the big scary one. That's uh, that yes. One. Bringer of Dreams and, nightmares. Of dreams and nightmares. Um, nightmares. So you have two Here's innate powers. On board. Okay. One is Pound Ships to Splinters, um, which moves at bird speed, range zero, target land coastal, um, with one moon, one shadow, and one water, you add a fear. Two moon, one shadow, three water, an additional fear. Three moon, two shadow, four water, two additional fear, so for a total of one, two, three, four fear. Ocean breaks the shore. That moves at turtle speed in his, and is a coastal ability. Two water and one mountain, drown a small building. <laughs> wow. Three water and two mountain, you may instead drown one large building. And four water, three mountain, also drown a small building or large building. And wow. on the back, ocean's hungry grasp. The hunger of the ocean runs deep and powerful, sometimes patient, sometimes tempestuous and angry. It slowly wears away at rocky shores, or devours half an island during a hurricane. It lures humans out onto the water with its siren call, then consumes ship and crew alike unless the proper offerings are made. The ocean's voraciousness keeps the Dahan from frequent sea travel, though they still manage a trading expedition every decade or so. These trading trips take the cooperation of several families and always involve at least two spirit speakers. That way, even if one perishes abroad, the expedition will still be able to get home. The setup is you put two tokens onto your starting board, one in the ocean and one in a coastal land of your choice. Play style. Extremely good at assaulting the coasts where the invaders start out strong, but weak inland. The ocean is not accustomed to affecting events so far ashore. Its presence shifts in and out like the tide, which can be tricky to manage, but permits repositioning and tactical retreats or offensives in the hands of a skillful player. Has fairly inexpensive, unique powers, but the energy gained from drowning invaders can be necessary in stepping up to more potent powers. Wow. And then, John, you wanted to read yourself about oh. Oh, the, uh, uh, the Bringer Nightmare. of Dreams. And I'm, I'm a big fan of Nightmare on Elm Street. That's mainly okay. what I want to sure. talk about this guy. So this is um, Freddy? This is Freddy in a nutshell. Here's his thing. He can never deal damage. Pretty much his powers cannot deal damage at all. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot to mention. You flip it over. Mm -hmm. You can build your own map. But it's a preset map. So like That's northwest, awesome. west. And it's more thematic. This is like for scenario gameplay and stuff. It's pretty cool. This is so All right, good. so we're gonna we're gonna look at the board in a couple of seconds. Yes. I'm gonna bring that up so that you guys can see the board, Try to which build is as best you can. amazing. But John wants to read about the nightmare. So yeah, read definitely. Okay, so uh, his special rules are Mr. Oogie Boogie. All right, so his special rules are to dream a thousand deaths. Your powers never cause damage, nor can they destroy anything Where's except your own book? settlements. Oh, there it is. Except your own settlements. When a power of yours Ooh, would like destroy or deal enough damage to destroy, uh, you generate fear instead. Up to five fear, depending on what you terrify. 
The power pushes all enemies that it would destroy. Note, a single power cannot destroy a given invader more than once. Powers which cause damage via huts are affected just like normal. All other effects deal damage or work as normal. So his thing is, his powers include turning over fear cards, which is useful because we can see what's coming and playing right, strategy yeah. around that. Amanda, you need to nominate this game for a fic competition. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. September, okay. September. <laughs> Set a reminder. Uh, this I'm, ability. I, I, may, I am. Sweet. This ability is really cool. Um, target spirit gains one element of their choice as long as they already have one of it. So you can, if you have one of an element, you can get more. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's pretty cool. So in a lot of cases, that's going to boost you up to the next level. And apparently his thing is he can generate at least three fear per turn if he gets going. Mm -hmm. So he just stacks the fear, going and going yeah. and going and going. But he does going. no damage. No damage. Uh, he can only play like max two per turn, roughly. He's very slow. He deals no damage at all. Literally his offense is zero, but he's all fear. Yeah. He's complete fear. And fear is something I'm very much a fan of. So I'm extremely excited to play this guy soon. So I'm going to switch to the uh, the overhead view again. Okay. Because I want to show off the board. Yes. So in a one player game, yeah. you play with board A. Yes. And here's your board. Well actually you can and pick any board you want. Oh okay. In a two player game, you play with A and B and they link together along the grasslands. Or is it, no. Essentially you want to flip it over so one is like. Here we go. Yeah, that works. So they link together like this. Yep. So that's a two-player game. Mm -hmm. If you're playing a three-player game, which we were just doing, you add another one. So. Set a reminder for myself. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get this the way they have it in the illustration here. Take I believe time. he is. Let me, let me check that, because I'm pretty sure you're right. What are you looking at? Freddy there are ways to play this game solo, two players, and four players. Robert and there Euland. is an expansion available yeah. to get six players in on the fun. I don't have Euland, that yet, it? but I am considering getting it. But it might be a little overwhelming. So I like how this just sort of puzzles together. There's the three-player board. That's the three-player board, which is right? my favorite looking board. It is very nice. And then the four-player board is essentially a giant Alaska, version of a one player yeah. board. He is American. Aww. He was born he was born in California. Right. He may be Swedish by by heritage. That'd be cool. I like Freddy. Freddy's a lot of fun. So Amanda, this is relevant to uh, using the wave. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Because in a four player game, this is what the board looks like. Nope, if I can get this to fit together properly. You gotta flip some of those upside down. Would you like some help? No, I'm just... They have an illustration in the book. <laughs> and I... Don't have it right. It, they have letters on them, so look at what a letter is where. Indeed. So, yeah. A, B... Oh, I see. B. Right? No, that's not right. Oh my goodness. C D. Born in Glendale. He is of he is of Swedish, Danish, Scottish, English, and German ancestry, and his surname is Swedish. Oh, you are cool. correct there. That All doesn't right. look right. That's relatively but, as but good as it well, goes. Well, it's this ocean, is ocean, 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 ocean. Exactly. Basically. So if you were so playing the coasts. wave, you'd be pushing in and pulling yeah. out this way. Yeah. So, and then you can flip the boards flip the over. Board over. And this one, you don't really get as much variety. Like, this has to be west, this is east, this is northwest, and that is, yeah. Right. So, so northwest goes up there, east goes over there. What I like is it shows where the spirits are like normally located on the island. Ah. So. And this is for narrative play or. Yep. Yeah. Or you can just play it for a thematic feel. Like it changes up things a little bit. Like 
if you don't like if you're done with one side it's still marshlands mountains yeah. sand and uh forests or jungles look how gorgeous that is though it's very cool amanda it's so beautiful wow but yeah you can this see uh it's so pretty uh, where and it has such wonderful lore to it so just reading these blurbs on the back of each of the like cards i want an entire history book Yes. For this. I know um, Greater Than Games had to leave, um, but if anyone from the company ever comes back and looks at this, please, I want a whole book. I want to know everything about this world. It is so awesome. You can learn now about more enemies. I already know about some of those enemies, um, but like, thun so I'm going to read Thunderspeaker just because I, I love this. Okay. Very cool. Um, this is Thunderspeaker, who actually has what looks like... Oh, oh. I'm not on Doc. Uh, I'll make sure it's under... Hold on, I'm, I'm close enough to the... Yeah, and hopefully it should be... There we go. Who actually has what looks like a human form. Yeah. So. <laughs> Child of the Lightning, once known as Bright Thunder Roars in the days when it tore across the land as an avalanche of sound and chaos... It lost that form when the Stalker of Hidden Secrets, I want to know about the Stalker of Hidden Secrets, um, <laughs> imprisoned it in a canyon, binding it to echo perpetually back and forth until its thunder died out or the stones of the island wore away. The Dahan freed it from that imprisonment. Weakened but grateful, bright thunder roars bound itself to the aid of the Dahan until a generation had passed for every year of its imprisonment. And in doing so, binding changed its nature, becoming both less and more than it had been. It often takes human form now, and with centuries practice, wears it with ease. Chiefs call on the Thunder Speaker only in times of great need. It has not been much seen since the destruction of the servant cults. Ooh. This so much that flavor. Hints at so, so much flavor. Much, and I want it all. Every character's got it. It's yeah. so good. So, that was just a tantalizing taste no, yeah. seriously. of what this game has to offer. Um, that was so much fun. Thank you. Very happy. Thank, Thank you. So I'm much glad we finally brought us. it to the table. Oh my so God. For those of you in chat, we are going to play something different next Friday. <laughs> yes. And we need to decide what. Yes. All so, right. I have... Well... John brought something up from the demo space that he oh wants God. to try out. Uh, well, not so much the demo space. I oh. picked this up. This is, this is, this is, this is yours. my copy. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if that's going to be good Magic on camera. Maze. Magic Maze! Um, is a game in which a party of adventurers in a shopping mall have to gather their equipment and get out within a time limit. And the time limit... Ethnos. is done with a you egg timer. I have Ethnos. Oh, you have it? I okay, have cool. Ethnos. Ethnos is a great game. What is Ethnos? Ethnos is a game that is kind of like Concordia. Okay. All right, so the idea is it's not a game that restricts your play, your plays. You're drafting cards from a center pool. Once the pool is dried up, you just draft randomly off the top of the deck. But if you ever play a set of cards, you put the rest of your hand in the middle so you're giving your opponents extra plays. Interesting. It's a lot of fun. All right, so our options so far are Magic Maze, which is going to be a challenge to stream. Yeah. Because one of the major components of this game, of gameplay, is you may not speak with your other game players, um, except under very specific circumstances. Yeah. It says during the first scenario you can talk. Okay. So that is an option we can do just to learn yeah. the rules. Yeah. I've played this a few times. I think I have, with my father and brother, only ever beaten it once. Oh. Um, being telepathic would be very helpful <laughs> in this game because you see moves that you want other people to take and you're like, do, do the thing, just do it, make... Uh. So that could actually so be... So Allie and I would be good at yes, it, right? Yes, you would oh, be excellent right, at that right, game. Right. Anyway, so that's Magic Maze. I would like to nominate the Dark Crystal game, which oh, is behind that'd be a lot here. of fun. So I have been painting the figures for the Dark Crystal game. Dark Crystal. But we have not actually played it yet. Yeah, we haven't no, played it yet. No, 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 yeah. It is, it, from the looks of the instructions, it bears a striking similarity 
to um yeah, the see, that, that's organ. the thing. Um, we we don't want to have a silent stream. No, yes. that so, would be very boring. So what we might end up doing... if the first scenario doing... does let us talk, then yeah. if we end up with enough people that we could have three players plus me, I could talk. Oh. Um, yeah, and be you table could friends sit out, yeah. And, yeah. And chat with the chat and, and commentate um, and earn glares from the players. Um, so that's a possibility. We have had me perform the duty of table friend when we discovered that uh, Splendor may not be a game that forbids talking, but you end up focusing so much oh, on what your oh, plan is, boy. what your analysis plan paralysis is, the game. That no one was talking. We tried playing it one night. Oh, um, it was me, wow. Andy, and Derek, and we just didn't talk. And we realized about half an hour Somebody in, else someone was, with it, us. was it Travis? Maybe might have been Travis. Maybe. Um, yeah. Someone was in the chat, and they were like, "This is this is fascinating." And we were, I was like, "Yeah, sorry, <laughs> we are not talking." <laughs> so I sat out the next game so and talked yeah. and commentated and chatted and yeah. and talked about what I would be doing if I was playing. So that would be an option yeah. if we were to end up streaming Magic Maze. We could make it work. Okay. So just Dark Crystal. Do you want me to go to document cam again? Yeah. yeah. To show okay. These off. I, I'm excited for this one. These are not fully one. painted. Um, Amanda is a big fan of painting minis. Okay, it was you, Travis. Yes. Uh, we, you know, it's been Travis. a while. Travis. Um, so these two are done, and these two I have done a base coat on, and they need their their detail work done. So it was me. It was him all loft. along. So this it's is Jen. From the dark crystal. The uh, only thing that, that I need to do with Jen is fix up that crystal. The crystal is bugging me. I don't know how to get it. It's it's blobby. Well, you're, you're gonna yeah. put a gloss on it. Right? Well, the problem is I wanted to do it so that it had planes delineated by the white because that's how like an actual like quartz crystal looks, but it doesn't have um. It doesn't. It's it's just like cylindrical. It doesn't actually have any like lines and angles. The gradation that you've gotten on his back there. So Andy that and I went so to good. see um, Dark Crystal on the big screen. They released yeah, they, it like one weekend. Oh, cool! With the new it was print, the new restored so print, gorgeous. and it's beautiful. Whoa, um, and I paid, knowing that I had this game on the way, I paid a lot of attention to the backs of characters because I really wanted to see what their backs looked like because you don't see pictures of Jen's back, but his actual coat is like fringe because it was the 80s. Um, and <laughs> it's this wonderful ombre effect on the fringe, and I was very pleased to be able to get that done. So, and you can also see the blue streaks in his hair so much better in the new print. So that's Jen. More brand smacking. We have played Betrayal at House on the Hill. We should uh, play Betrayal at, um, at Baldur's, Gate. Baldur's Gate. We could do that. That would be fun. Baldur's Gate would, that would be, be fun. super fun. Have you, have you seen anything with Betrayal at Baldur's Gate, more brands masking? Am I'll I saying that put it on the list. Correct? Yeah, right. I, <laughs> um, so that's Jen. Okay. This is Kira. There she is with Fizzgig. Yeah, she comes with Fizzgig. I can't believe how marvelous uh, I'm so, she came out. That detailing on Fizzgig is really good. He's so much yeah. fun. <laughs> and her wings sticking okay. through the cloak there. Yeah. Hoping over the PS4 for some Fantastic Monster Hunter. Fantastic painting job there. Traitor. All right, Travis, bye. Later, uh, Travis. Thanks for coming in and fighting with Steve over there, boss. <laughs> You're with us in spirit, buddy. Um, And On then spirit I have Island. the two Skeksis. Yeah. So the Skeksis aren't done. They're just based. So I have the um, the Chamberlain. Yep. Mm -hmm. I hate your whimper. Mm -hmm. So he's got his base coat. He needs to be a whole lot dirtier than he is right now. That white is not going to stay white, I'll tell no, you that. No, when you put a wash on it, that's yeah. going to... Yeah. Oh, Ooh. he's getting several washes down near the bottom. Because like I was saying, the Skeksis don't really care about housekeeping. No. And there's the Gartham Master and eventual Emperor. Yeah, that's um, and I did, I based him today. He's not fully based, but he's mostly based. Um, and he is wearing a bunch of Gartham carapaces yeah. as his back. I don't know if it comes across, but she's given it a sheen. Um, you can almost I see took, it almost iridescence to I it. took a nightshade purple, which is the darkest purple I have, and uh, ruby red, which is a dark red metallic. It's a dark red shimmer. 
um, emerald green, which is a green, mid green shimmer with some gold into it, and uh, amethyst purple, which is a purple shimmer. Mixed those all together so with a little good. bit of copper and uh, made myself a custom dark metallic. What I'm eventually going to be doing is either stippling or dry brushing that green and purple metallic so that you get that beetle iridescence worked in. Um, the Chamberlain is just, he's got this blood red and like these red robes. So I'm going to be working on those, but unfortunately... Not until no. next Saturday. Yeah, not until next Saturday. So if we yeah. do play it next week, they're It'll painted, but they're not fully painted. painted. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they are based, so they at least aren't, um, we're not playing with like two unpainted, completely unpainted characters. But it looks to be a mix of um, Labyrinth, it's like a harder version of their la of the Labyrinth game. Twinsand, awesome. thank you for the follow. Yes, oh, thank you. Very cool. Um, yeah, the the Labyrinth, the River Horse Labyrinth game, we really liked, but we had to make some house rules uh, oh. to make it playable. Yeah, um, it was. I mean, tough. it is playable without the house rules, but it's the just, house it's rules a do make it a little more okay. fun. To that play. sounds cool. Um, they aren't major like breaks of the rules they're oh. they're adjusting some things to okay. make things a little yeah. more, more reasonable um this game seems to have taken some of the issues that were with the labyrinth game tweaked them um like the number of rounds is adjustable in this game as opposed to being a hard set 13 rounds yeah. in the other game um so you can add rounds to make it a little bit easier. You can take them away to make it more of a challenge. Yeah. Um, and this is also an asymmetrical game in that oh. the Gelflings are co-op, the Skeksis are not. It's actually a three-player game with four players. Exactly. Yes. That's so Which weird. is a lot of fun. The Gelfling players play as, um, they play as a team. So if one of them dies, but the other manages to get the crystal shard back into the dark crystal, both Skeksis, Skeksis, both Gelfling players win. If yeah. the Skeksis stop the Gelflings from doing that by the end of the last round, or kill both of them, the Skeksis win, but actually only the one who is currently the Emperor wins. The other Skeksis dies. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Isn't it so weird? So the Skeksis yeah. are fighting against each other As and well the as Gelflings. against the against Gelflings. Oh. And the Gelflings can team up and work together. And win as a pair even if one of them has fallen. Oh my God. So I like that it's this weird, interesting, very different asymmetrical mechanic from any other asymmetric game I've tried to play. Mm. Um, We've done should, a lot of painting So we've painting done a lot of painting stream. recently. Yes. If you look at our VODs, we actually, I painted earlier today the basing on that, uh, that sketchy figure. And she's been painting the Santorini figures I've been from Steve Benjamin's yeah. Santorini. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the copy of Santorini that we have um, has, the figures are uh, in the process of being painted. The, uh, the Golden Fleece figure from the Golden Fleece expansion is painted and the figures, the like actual game tokens are all based. I just need to do the actual like platforms, the little bases that they're on needs to be painted, and then I need to do detail work. Yeah, and um, I have been painting the Star Wars Legion starter set. Yeah. Uh, because because uh, we have a demo copy for the store, which I got on Monday, which means I've only had four days, five days. The amount of work that you've done in that amount of time, wow. doing it like before Exhausting. and after work is <laughs> wild. Yeah. Um, we anyway, so a, there's we, a whole bunch of those in the VODs Yeah, if you want to take a below. look at our painting streams, we do have um, some, some And VODs. if and you click into Saturday. our YouTube channel, there's a uh, all of our painting and, yeah, and modeling streams yes. are in the YouTube channel. Um, we do have, so I know you're not in the country, um, so but we do have a good uh, Warhammer uh, community here, so that's cool. Yeah, I follow several yeah. Warhammer painters. Yeah, I've been watching some other people painting figures and like, you know, I look at what I'm doing and I'm like, this looks good. And then I look at what they're doing and I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Though I am pretty proud of myself for the marbling that I did today. That was awesome. Um, I did do an experiment today and try to do a faux marble finish for the base of the Golden Fleece figure. And it actually came out 
pretty much the way I wanted it to. Um, sponge painting at that scale is a little tricky, but I did manage to yeah. get it to work. Because a lot of the marbling that you're, like the things that you're supposed to do when you're doing that faux marble finish, you're supposed to be going over wet paint with a sponge to mm -hmm. spread it. And it just, with the amount of paint you're putting down with the tiny brushes, mm -hmm. it doesn't stay wet long enough to go over it with the sponge and actually sponge it out to, to spread it. So you have to be a little bit more, a um, little bit, little bit closer uh, with that. You need to be doing it really. So fast, I'm going to do a couple so. of things quickly here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to paste in the chat. Awesome. Thank this you. is the survey that we are going to be doing for what yes. we will play next week. Yes. You so so revenge. At end of winter. Um, ju the voting just started. So. Yeah. How long is voting open? Voting is judging? for one week, and judging will be done next uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. So, and we will announce the winners on stream next stream. Awesome. So, no. next Friday. Next Friday? Yeah. Okay. The yeah. 30th. That works, yes. Cool. Yeah. So you'll get to see next week. the entrance, and you'll get to see who won. And that's going to be next Thursday. Um, in the meantime... Here is the uh, the survey for you. Uh, this will also be posted in our Discord. If you link, look in the links down below, there's a Discord there where you can talk with other folks at Battleground about games and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the stream and all those sorts of things. I voted. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. <laughs> I'll vote uh, when I get home. <laughs> and I'm going to try to do a raid. Oh. oh. Um, we've never done a raid before, so I have to quickly Google how to do a raid. <laughs> okay. But I believe I just do it as a chat command before we log out. I guess. So we're going to raid game nights. Ooh, yeah. Uh, okay. Hopefully that will work. They That's are cool. playing uh, Pathfinder. Oh. Uh, which is always fun RPG stuff. Mm hmm. Pencil and paper RPGs. Yeah. Yes, it is. So uh, yes. let's see if I can figure out how to do this. You guys talk for a moment while I see if I can figure out so, how to do a hey raid. So, John. <laughs> we brought up before, um, obviously so, this is uh, the asymmetrical aspect of the Christmas call. Do you feel like when we were playing this one, yeah. asymmetry, we were all playing a different we game? We were playing a total, like, so here's the thing. When I, I mean, when I say asymmetric, I mean that the players have a different objective. Goal. Yeah. Um, whereas as a group here, we were each had a very different way of approaching the game, yeah. but we were working together towards a single goal. Which is always a good thing. Um, one yeah. of my, my favorite asymmetric games that I've never played, but that I really would like to, is um, the, the old Dune board game. And the reason I love this is because every faction that you can play has a different win condition and objective. That's a lot of fun. So if you're playing the Bene Gesserit, um, you I so want to try play that. a totally different game than if you're playing like the um, like the Fremen. Okay, it's cool. just a totally different game. Thanks for joining us, Twitzan. Thank you yes. so much for the rules calls and help on that. Yes, that was um, an enormous help. It is help. always helpful to have someone who actually has played the game and knows what they're doing joining yeah. us. Yeah. Um, because we go into a lot of things like John had played um, a little, but obviously Very it's, it's not yeah. the same as having played a bunch of like multiplayer Full, games. Yes. Um, and having someone who's more familiar with it is definitely helpful. So Always. thank you so much. Um, and thank you for the follow and yeah. Welcome to the crew. Yeah, so awesome. The way this raid is going to work is we're going to... Uh, Go to closing credits okay. and stick around. Don't leave the chat. Just wait it out. It's going to be like 20 seconds of just it's the Battleground Live. So you got to talk fast. Yep. Yeah. And then it's going to go over to uh, game, nights. game Nights. All right. Yeah. Bye, so, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have fun at the race. That was so much fun. It was awesome.